Hey, this is the last one. Sad. And look at the guests. It this is a little is, sad, but go out with what's a not sad, and more, <laughs> hey, more what's not sad is there's two cane masks today. Yeah, that's we could both wear one. Yeah, yeah you want to wear it? You want to kick this off with a bang? Yeah, Let's do it for real. I'll do the whole two and a half with this. Nice little finale. It's two and a half. Oh, two and a half hours. <laughs> nice little finale. Well, I am corporate Kane. That's a stupid name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where's my indie taker mask at? Where's yeah. I'm talking about that later. Right I don't think it's going to work. It's fine. Let's put, put it back, back though. It needs yeah. to be in the shop. Okay. Otherwise, I'm not doing it. Okay. I quit. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, wait. I can't quit. I this is sad, Kev. Yeah, this is your last show. I'm a little yeah. emotional. It, I, I say a lot of the best for last. But it's nice. No offense to all the other guests. <laughs> I was talking to my wife. She's like, are you, you know, sentimental? Are you sad? This is Kevin's last week. Did you cry a little? No, I was like, ah, you know. And then, like, I saw you in the car be. earlier. I'm like, this is it. This is the last well, show we had. Yeah, look, we uh, we had to put white tape on the W. Obviously, a wrestling <laughs> dude. <laughs> they really, they really started. I think it's time. The sign's definitely happy that this is the last. Yeah, I didn't realize how bad the sign is. I thought it was a good, and then like it was good at plus. first. The first time oh, we did it, it was a sweet sign. Oh, yeah. okay. Wait, did we even have the sign for the first one? Because it was a WrestleMania Who's weekend last year. Who's the first guest? The we first guest was right? Michael Allen for some reason. Were we like? We were like third. Why are you just laughing? Like, <laughs> because I don't know why he was first. Uh, so, we were like third. Self pop. Right there. It was Michael. I, it was Michael Elgin. Then I think Adam Cole. And then you guys. Yeah, oh, we were right after Adam. And then Cole, it's like yeah, yeah. We, then we just sold so much more than everyone else. It's crazy. They told us to come back. <laughs> we don't you know guys were part of a tag team edition with the Smash Brothers because right. uh, theirs yeah. probably wouldn't have sold. Right. So right. Yeah. They did piggyback. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. But since that, that happened, really something good. since the first Kevin Steen show with you guys, something happened. Uh huh. You guys both went completely insane. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be Why honest. Why you say this? <laughs> it was like on. a year ago. You're <laughs> well aware. The last year, you guys have been absolutely crazy. Yeah. We don't even have to touch on that right now. We could come back to it. Why? Why? Wait, why did you say we're crazy? Please, I honestly please think, explain. No, no you started making thing. the craziest tweets oh, and the yeah, craziest yeah. claims, right, and right, that right, you right. started selling a T-shirt of yourself super kicking. We team. we go straight to the back after we sold T-shirts with like wads of cash. Like, look at what we did. Like, man, he's right. It has that's, that's, bad, bad. that's bad karma though. In the last yeah. year and a half, I would say it's really got it. You know, honestly, I think it's not just we've turned nuts, we've, we're just revealing our true selves. So you guys are always... <laughs> I think we've always been a I guess that's true. Yeah. I always kind of... Because you've known that one. Yeah. yeah. You've known the real loss. We're, we're pretty guess we're crazy. But, uh, so, we're last crazy. time we did it was April of mm-hmm. last year. Mm-hmm. And a uh, year and a half then or so. A lot of has changed. We were doing Dragon Gate USA that weekend. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you guys win the tag belts? Yeah. I think yeah. that was the it, the start of the craziness. It was because like, everybody started putting the tag belts on. Oh uh, yeah, and uh, okay. we were we were blackballed from Ring of Honor that weekend. You know what drove us to all that was was T and the TNA thing. We quit. We went crazy a little bit after that. The Booker T thing <laughs> happened. We went really nuts. Just, and then Ring of Honor pretty much fired us. Jim Cornette. Did, oh yeah. Did hey, that that's that that, did we talk about that one? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, we did. We did. Right? We did. So like all that kind of happened. We we're just we, sick of. Being turned yeah. down. You know, We're like, right? screw this. Let's just freaking be ourselves and let's uh, not care and let's have fun and you know. And then that's when uh, I think stuff started changing. We got really over from it and we started selling t-shirts and all this stuff. So we like, yeah, this works. Selling, selling yeah. ridiculous amounts of t-shirts yeah, he will do something to a man. You know, it really changes you. Yeah. Right? The other day at PWG, I get to the back and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kevin's like, what? Like, we just sold so many shirts. I have more of a high right now than after a match. I'm like, I don't even care about Like, Kevin, us, and like, well, Randy kind of did it too. Like, he'd be so happy. Colt kind of, but we do it between our circle. We always, uh, we send always each other the tweets and right. the box, but, uh, shots of the phone. Not the tweets, but right. yeah. I, my favorite part of it is when I sell a lot of shirt and I have like the wad of my cash. Yeah. I send it to like Shane Matthews from 3.0. Yeah, make who, them feel Who better. makes like 60 uh, bucks. And he's like, oh my God. <laughs> of course. He make, I make it feel awful. Oh, you have to. It's like part of our, it's our relationship. I feel, bad, though, yeah. I feel that's yeah. good for him to humble him a little. You know? Oh, he's got a naturally big head. Uh, so you gotta but like an down. actual big head. You have, yeah. to, you have to bring him down. But, right. But Just in case it gets inflated even more. We need to sell those shirts. We have to. That's like, of course. That's like 30, if we 40. brag about it. It's like all the money I make when I go home. It's good. It's just, it's I alley it to my wife and she slams it <laughs> like onto the online bills. Yeah. Like, like it's, it's all gone in a second, but it feels good. Still. Man, I wish it was going into my savings. It'd feel nice. That'd be great. Yeah. We brag and brag about I've it. I managed to I save mean, some money recently, which is good. the first. Good. I've never had money in my bank account, except for now. I still have. 
Because uh, I got crazy royalty checks from Ring of Honor for Good the last for two yeah. quarters. We yeah. don't know what a royalty check is unless TNA sends us a, a 15 cent <laughs> royalty check from a Jimmy 8x10, a single max buck. 8 by 10 raise. No, they so did that? Not a 15 eh, three cent. Three bucks. Yeah. Three bucks. <laughs> we well, I mean, we, we've got an ROH one for a dime one. What? <laughs> Is that true? You're being crazy I'm pretty right sure. Now. What do you I mean? Po- I posted no, it on, he, we, I, and I posted he, it on Facebook. Right. I was look at this royalty check I got. The best, <laughs> we're that we're actually, and I got a bunch of heat, so I deleted it. We're actually it. getting good royalty checks out from New Japan. So we yeah. have a training card that's out, and it's like making us good money. Not like crazy money, but no, it's actually a real money. check. Like, oh, this is nice. Yeah. yeah. but That's the only check I That's my ever. favorite time at Ring of Honor. Well, not that I'm there anymore, but my favorite time of Ring of Honor was... Uh, the royalty checks every three months, yeah. and like everybody would open theirs, yeah. and be so happy, right? And I'd swap with mine, and like I'd drag my hand. <laughs> <up on the floor. laughs> it's a lot heavier. Here's like yeah. pages. It's, it's like, a lot heavier. Uh, Cole would come see me every time. So, What'd you get? Yeah. You don't even want to know. Yeah, it don't hurt him. It don't hurt him. But it's it nice. How much time does it take to get to that? Everybody now thinks school. we're such assholes. No, 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 no. Hey, you try some some it's t-shirts hard, and see how it feels. We were I'm not a professional wrestler. I'm a t-shirt dealer. That's what I said my last week. When I, I, I did a tweet like a few days ago. Yeah. I knew ever since I was five years old, I grew up to be a professional t-shirt salesman. <laughs> or something stupid. But like, it, it took us ten years to even get to the point where yeah. we were selling more than three shirts a show. It took me ten years to even get merch. Yeah. Cold Cabana yeah. Yeah. drove me. Like, he was driving me crazy, yeah. and I just. But here's the thing, I never had the money to make like yeah, 500 bucks true. worth of shirts. Right. Yeah. You it just never happened. And then eventually I finally did it. And then ever since then, I just kept the ball yeah. rolling. You yeah. know, we never had the money either. And one day, uh, Kerry Silkin, our good friend, yeah, he, he invested he, in he us came, and he said, he came, he came get merch. <laughs> he, did the same, he did the same thing. He's like, why don't you guys get merch? We were like, well, we tried it back in the day. We just don't sell anything. He's like, it's different now. Get some merch. And he gave us a little bit I of money. I guess it's not cave faith anymore, but now, now the world knows. <laughs> pretty, that's pretty that, I still, to this day, I like him. Snowball. That was I nice talked to him two days ago, and I mentioned it. I yeah. said, dude, you know, because he asked us, how's business? It helps us a lot. Dude, it's good, but it's because of you. Like, yeah, we would have never had this merch. We got a lot of inventory. Well, Pro Wrestling Tees actually changed that. Oh, That was good, but yeah. Ryan at the One Hour Tees really did us a solid better concept. Is one well, Colt Cabana too, actually. Uh, Colt, is he yeah, like the inventor of the he's site? The inventor or something? Yeah, Colt. Uh, he's k Colt gets a little. Uh, <laughs> of course, <laughs> I know he does. Yeah. I know he does. He's like a dollar or something. He k fabes us. Uh, okay, so you guys uh, that weekend won the Dragon Gate belts. Yes. And then were you already pay- were you already PWG tag champs? Probably. We were. We, yeah. We've been the champs for the last eight years. <laughs> <laughs> and it's simply because yeah. we just tell we tell Dragon. Uh, so you guys want to lose tonight? We're like, no. <laughs> You know what? Uh, uh, <laughs> he just looks at face games. We know that's real. But but it, uh, we want to we want to drop them now. So right right. It was actually our decision because they they wanted us to keep them and then we were the final. It's time to drop them. We can't talk about that now. But yeah. yeah. The uh, the uh, I really want to talk about that. I'm trying I'm trying to think. Of, so New Japan wasn't ha- happening yet. And if not yet, months, it would. Yeah. Not yet. They went. You guys knew already though. No, we didn't Shouldn't know we were going to do yeah. You didn't know yet? Oh, well, we can't. We can't fizzle. No, we no, no, no. We found out like July because I remember Okada said, "Can you come to Japan?" Yeah, we can't fizzle in, in a lot of people though. We right, we can't five a lot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you never know in wrestling. We're like, oh, this guy says we're coming to Japan. Oh, we're going to have visas now. I wonder if this is real. The first time. It's uh, been a, it's October. about a year. Yeah, about almost a year. a year or so. It just seems longer. as our first tur- like we showed up. I don't know. We won the tournament. And then we won the tag titles, and it was like, everybody was like, oh, you guys have been there like a year already. Right? Yeah. Oh, I remember hearing true. you guys were going, and I was so excited to be there yeah. when Elgin would find out. Oh, yeah. It's Elgin's dream, yeah, right? his life purpose oh, is to go know. there. Yeah. I wasn't there when he found out, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, were you there when he found out that Mike Bennett was No, there? man, I wish I had been, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love Mike, I do, but there's something about him just putting on Twitter that he wants to go and <laughs> just not going and then all these dudes get it's to go. It's kind of sad, him. man. It's not sad. <laughs> I, I keep telling him all the time, though. Like, you, you can't just stop putting yeah, it on Twitter. Right. Yeah, that's I want, true. I, you know, I want them to know. I think they know, man. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. they're yeah. well aware. Oh, we're aware, buddy. Yeah, we, know, we know they know. Yeah. 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 You know who's going to do good there is Kyle and Bobby, I think. Yeah, they're I think there. Cole's going to do all right, too. Cole, too, of course. Yeah, Cole's. Cole. I mean, Bennett. Ben will do good the only one left is Bennett. He's I'm sure he'll do good. They're all going to do good. Marie will be good too because they don't see anything yeah, like that. They'll That's the thing, you know. I was telling Mike uh, a couple there. weeks ago that, like, he was real bummed out that he wasn't getting to go and all those yeah. guys were going. He's happy for them, but he really wants to go. And I was right. telling him, 
it's, you got to do something different than what they have. Right. <laughs> Michael Elvin's basically a Japanese wrestler in the U.S. Uh, yeah. And he's like, well, you know, doesn't that show them that I can do that style? Yeah, but uh, they already have guys that do that style. Yeah. Like, look at all the guys they're bringing now. Right. You guys, Cole, Bennett. They like characters. No, yeah. no one would have thought we would have got over. Uh, Gallows was voxing CM Punk uh, in a cab ride, and we overheard it. He's like, "How did the Bucks get to New Japan?" Yeah, they're just two. Bucks. They're two yeah. white guys. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. Like, how are they even like have that like, job? Out there? And Gallows was like, "Dude, yeah, that works here. Yeah. It's yeah. good for them, man." Yeah. Like, it's like we're not expected to. Get I guess because we're like so that. different from. Yeah, but I think that's what they want now. I think the louder the outfits too. You yeah. guys have gotten yeah. more crazy with and that. Uh, and we're there, like we come out, or I'm like Scott Holland through the curtain. Nick's on his back, doing a crotch up and a tuck yeah. up. And like I swear, every time we go to the back, we're like they're gonna tell us to chill out a little bit. We go to we go to machine gun, Ooh. chat up, and no, yeah. machine gun's oh, like, yeah. dude, when you guys were doing all that oh, stuff, it's like, right. good gimmick, yeah, yeah. good gimmick, like they love just it. stealing everybody else's <laughs> stuff. Yeah, like the one thing we, we had to stop doing was the air guitar is Tanahashi, yeah. which yeah. breaks my heart. <laughs> I know because we're so used to not doing it, so like now I don't even do it. You know, uh, it does break my heart a little bit. It's completely we're forwarding That's months. Okay. But you talk about the crotch shops and stuff. Yeah. Uh, when you guys came back to Ring of Honor, yeah, oh, yeah. that oh, yeah. weekend where you won the tag belts, yep. it was your first weekend back. Yeah, remember when we did the six man tag yeah. us against Elgin and the Briscoes, mm -hmm. and we were just being us. That's right. You guys were cross. I had my everywhere. cast on, so I'm doing one hand. Apparently yeah. after, uh, like. Ring of Honor management, yeah. Whereas was complaining, it's like, can you believe the Bucks are doing those crotch shots? How how Bush Lee? Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you even yeah. bringing them if you're gonna say that? <laughs> That's what we do. I know. Um, and like the worst part is this: people are going ape shit for you guys. Crazy. <laughs> New York City is losing their mind, <laughs> and he's worried about. They really shouldn't be doing those cross chops. So <laughs> look at the people. They're going crazy. The next, the next night, it's funny he mentions this because I was in Milwaukee to Chicago. Yeah, Chicago was. We got pulled aside by one of the guys you're talking about, and he said and he had a piece of paper. He said, "This is the stuff we're not allowed to do on television." It said, "Pointing to your crotch." That right? might okay. That is true. Do. That that's a, that's a different issue. But what I was told is Bush League. He thought it was Bush yeah. League. Okay. That's a whole entirely right. different that's thing. A different thing. If TV doesn't want it, if the company doesn't want it for TV, fine. Yeah. Right. But saying that it's Bush League, when, right. first of all, the Milwaukee show wasn't going to be on TV. It's a house show. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, I'll, here's the story though. So we agree, okay, man, you know what? You're right. No problem. So we get to the ring, and the first thing this effing guy does is this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? He does a job like, we just told us 20 minutes ago. And then I was like, well, if he's going to do it, bam. You know, like, yeah. Yes. yeah, so. But then, and then at, right after they booked us to be their champs. So. You know what else? You know what else is funny too is uh, at one point they told us stop doing the super kick completely. That that was that, that was, was important. Years ago, that was 2011. I have to say that was ROH Cornette. Yeah, I have to say that the difference between the Cornette era and like oh, the new era is a lot. Night like I, me and Matt feel like it's a lot easier. It's looser. It's and uh, I feel like we could do whatever we want. Yeah, I mean, they're a lot more open to... Well, it's more fun. Like, I, mean, but we, no, I don't know if we're... People alive. might think we're ragging on Jim, but it's not. It's just a fact. Look, like, you guys... Yeah. Were, it's we, just so much... It was so much more fun. We're a tag team. We were booked terribly. And Cornette was the booker, so he didn't know how to handle well, this tag team. They, they told true. us specifically... And they do it in meetings in front of the boys, which I still... I'm not happy about. They got no super kicks tonight, and they look at me and Nick. And it's funny because two years we fast forward and now they're like, the super kick party is coming to yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, but what, why did the, what was the, I'm trying to remember what the logic was behind the no super kick back then. Um, I think it was because Lance, like Lance Storm was on the shows and he was using it as his finish. Okay. Which is, per, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. I totally understand. But why point us out in a meeting like that? Like Cornette. Like yeah, because it's not like a hundred dudes were doing it. Of anymore. course, but we were the guys who were known for overusing it. Yeah. And the whole point of that whole super kick thing is too, while we're talking about it, is like, is everyone's like, oh, the Young Bucks do too many super kicks. And Nick and I said, okay, well, we're going to do 30 of them in a match. If yeah. we do too many of them, well, I'm going to do more now. You know what I mean? And that, that's what I you think. I think I was the pioneer of the super kick. You were. You were. Yeah, I mean, you were. Just give me like You were generic. Face, that, that You're like, just give me 10 right here. Yeah. We call it the super kick execution, I remember at the time. Yeah, execution. It was, it was battle of Los Angeles. You were yeah. We did it a couple of times. We did the final battle after. I think at the time, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was fresh show because not a lot of guys were doing that many of them. Now it's all over. And it, but it was but, our finish, though. Like, it and now, now it's known as our gimmick, so now ROH accepts it, and they say, all right, the Super Kick party. Party. Do it's it over. Yeah, it's part of, yeah, that's true. They promote it. But if you notice our last few matches, or not few matches, but the last six months, 
we don't do a million of them anymore, and we don't, we never, we don't have a place. We never no sell them either, or have guys yeah, say right back. We place it right. You know, right, 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 right uh, the take a super kick, just stand there. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know against that now. It was our guy up. <laughs> we super kick the guy, and he falls on his back, or like that's the end of it. He falls on his back. I like the way you put it. <laughs> Not he bumps. He falls on his takes back. Takes a bizarre. Yeah. There was a guy him. back home in yeah. Montreal, Manny, uh-huh. PCP Manny. He was the IWS uh, promoter. He. Uh, not a great wrestler, he, he would admit it himself. He, uh, what he would call, like if you're wrestling him, and he decides to call a spot in the match, which he would not, almost never do because we'd call. He would explain every single thing in such detail. <laughs> like, okay, I'm gonna throw you from the ropes <laughs> to the other ropes. You're gonna run, then you're gonna turn and hit the ropes with your back. And when you're gonna come oh, back, no. I'm gonna hit you with my arm. You're gonna fall on your back. Oh. He's basically saying, I'm gonna whip you. Yeah, take your clothes off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for some reason, it's so complicated. Or like he would call, like, okay, I'm gonna twist your arm now. Oh. <laughs> like he just. There are people like that, and they make them. The easiest things seem so complicated. You know what me and Matt, what me and Matt do now to rip people if it's like a smaller show? We'll, we'll whip the guy oh, off yeah. and say it. Alright. Trust me. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Duck two, do you have faith? Or something stupid. Like, really? just stupid crap. Like, yeah. Yeah. And what happens? And they'll say, do you believe in God? <laughs> it's always <laughs> a real like. <laughs> if you did that to me, I would just be like, what? <laughs> well, because I it's think it's a little rip. No, it's a rip because it, it, it all started with, I think we heard a story about Human Tornado back in the day. Oh, yeah. He was working at some show and the guy, and Tornado was just like calling stuff on the fly. He shot the guy off. He's like, he's all, duck one, I do my gimmick. <laughs> And the guy's like, what? His gimmick, his gimmick ended up being the freaking split yeah, where just, the guy jumps over. The guy's just like, he just like stops in front of Craig and he's in a split or something. He's like, I don't know what the heck we're doing on this. I don't know what your gimmick is. I've said this before, but people, uh, I, I said this on a podcast, I think, yeah. Cold. Yeah. Did you know a lot? Did you know wrestlers have podcasts, by the way, now? Yeah, it's it's just a couple, yeah. Of, I mean, there's a few people, dude. Uh, somebody once whipped Generico into the ropes and said the rocks move. <laughs> the Which rocks one? move. Which one? Right. Uh, so Generico's like, is it going to be a rock bottom? Yeah. How is he going to give me a rock bottom if I'm yeah, running off the ropes? Is it going to be a DDT? The lay the SmackDown one? Is that what it was called? <laughs> no, he DDT? just said, it was like, freaking <laughs> arm one. The... It was a Samoan drop. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, okay. Fair enough. But I always rocks... think of rock bottom right away. Yeah, rock too. The rocks bottom. move. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it would be like whipping somebody off and saying the Undertaker's move. Yeah. Hey, which one, bud? Yeah. You, like, you expect to make slam. Yeah, yeah. 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 Old school, what are we doing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, okay, you guys won the Dragon Gate belts. At that yeah. point, you didn't know if you were going to... We're back to that. You guys didn't know if you were going to Japan. Track, yeah. You were already PWG champs. Yeah. How was that whole uh, Dragon Gate experience there? Because. I remember you guys went to Dragon Gate in Japan and for yeah. a while, right? Yeah, yeah, was, yeah for a while. Then you were done. And it didn't end super well, from what I remember. No, yeah, I guess But then not. you were Dragon Gate USA, and uh, yeah, how was the whole? You guys were there for a while. I, man, the the Dragon Gate USA talent is amazing. Everyone great knows that the whole roster is great. It's it's the storylines. But dra- I, think much, Gate, I think I mean I don't there's even know too much storylines. Story. But I think now Dragon Gate USA is done. I think. Yeah, I think yeah, that's, that's, right. that's right. I don't know if that's true. I, but, think, uh, I think if if Gabe booked the shows more like Super Dragon and just had it more heavy loose, on loose. and more heavy on wrestling instead of like see, this this for example was a show in Dragon Gate. Me and Matt would do an opening USA, promo. Dragon yeah, yeah, Dragon Gate USA. We would do an opening promo before and then uh the first match would happen, then there would be an angle after the first match. Second match happens, there's a promo, the match happens, then there's another angle. And like, then there's another angle, and then we come and interfere before our match, and then we'll wrestle, and then have another angle. There's just too much angles topped on. It's a lot of information. Too much information. He it's had to cut, he had to cut like... Gabe used to be not like that. Yeah. Real honor at all. He had to cut like six promos in one night. I remember you told me uh, that. When, yeah. when you had to be there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why uh, did you go by yourself? He was a baby. Yeah, I was a baby. Uh, but 
I think it's just too much storylines. The fans want to just see wrestling, and it's good talent. So just put those two guys together in a ring and have them wrestle. Don't put a storyline in it, mm-hmm. like Super Dragon does. It's it's a it's win. It's also form. hard because they don't run shows very often. So no, it's true. Line, true. Yeah, it was hard exactly. too because there's a lot of Japanese guys. And there's that language barrier, and that just didn't seem to click. Like um, like you're having these guys kind of cut broken English. Yeah, the, those angles weird. Would, would maybe be pan out because no. the fans aren't going to get into a Japanese guy cutting a promo. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. uh, that was weird. Man, I don't know, and we, we it was kind of weird for us because at the end of it, we felt a little disrespected. Uh, me and Gabe got it, got into it. This a little is a bit. story for a later time. <laughs> I've heard the story. That's we're all everything's right, fine right. now. We're, we're all full cool now. Yeah, yeah, but but that that definitely. Was I really cool. like Gabe. I did. I had him here. It yeah. was one of my favorite ones I've done actually. Yeah. But I don't know. I think we need to tell the story. I was scared. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. We're That's all shoot. Like, we're all shooting hoops at a. At a was it in a ball show? Yeah, it was. It was our last weekend, obviously. Well, we didn't realize <laughs> it was our last weekend, but it kind of felt like it was leading towards that anyway because we were in New Japan now. We just felt disrespected. Weren't we, you guys one of our tag champs too at that point? Probably. <laughs> yeah, no, like no, this, no, I don't think. Yeah, but, I don't think. Yeah, but Matt has not said it. This was building up. Like we. Yeah. We cut them a deal. We were working for pennies there. Yeah. This was for anybody. We, oh, the, it was literally working for pennies. Well, oh, you know, still working for several hundred. Of course, dollars. Uh, yes. maybe. Yeah, like it was. It was pretty low. Still, it was the low end of. Let's just not get that. crazy. But at the same time, they were booking me alone when he was gone. Yeah, like, they were good. They're, so they helped us out. They're so good for us. Yep. But like, yep. no. But, but they sorry. they realized that they were getting us for a good good deal at uh-huh. that point. But anyway, like. Some nights we wouldn't even have hotel rooms. Like they, they expected us to go straight from the match to the airport. Isn't this where that's the weekend the Indie Taker was born? Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, but that happened a lot. Like the, uh, I remember Sal would be like, "You need a hotel room?" Or uh, like the show ended. Usually the wrestlers go straight to the airport. I was like, "What? Yeah. Why?" Or like they, I, I or, without telling shower. us, we would we would show up the last day of the tour where you get paid, and they would be like. Okay, what's your PayPal address? I'm like, no, man, I need cash. It takes me three to four days to get that. Yeah. Like stuff like that. So every show stuff is building, building, building. Every building. weekend we got paid PayPal, which which is awful because now it's like we're not gonna. Uh, hey, honey, uh, I think I'm gonna have money in my bank in four days right. instead of here's the cash I made right. for our family to provide. You know what I mean? So that stuff built up to what happened in the last. <laughs> he was week. getting hotter and he was getting. Anyway, the, I think it was day what three. He's a hot head. No. Nah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, Come yes. on. Yeah. I don't think I would so. Love for good, about that other but for a good reason, I am. No, <laughs> the only times I, everyone will. He has good reason when he is. No, I agree. The times that I agree is because I'm standing up for the boys or for, for us. <laughs> All right, well, let's tell the story. Uh, we were playing playing little basketball. Uh, <laughs> what little, was little it? Turn it to a little bit of hoops at a show. Uh, I think it was day two of a. Triple shot in Florida, I think. I it, it was, it was. Because I remember I was driving back from a show yeah. in Quebec City. Yeah. You guys told me the story, and yeah. we still had another uh, show the okay. next day. Oh, yeah, and then we kind of had it out again the next day so someone we, else. We, we're very finished. professional. We show up on time. We show up usually even before call we're time. Two, yeah, we showed up days. three or four hours before the show, uh, and we were literally, what, the few that were there yeah. at that time. Like here so, was there. And there's a basketball there. court and everyone knows I'm a big basketball player. Yeah, he's always going to play. He's always I love basketball, basketball enthusiast. Yeah, I am. He is. And I love playing. So I, I'm like naturally, okay, I'm going to play some basketball. We're here early, so I'm going to play. So I got, Matt wants to play. We get him to play. Uh, Chris, oh, when we're together. Yeah. Chris Hero wants to play. Uh, <laughs> we're good to go. Uh, How come we never play basketball, guys? We never play. see a court? No, man. Uh, I would never. I would, no <laughs> way. Idiot. It's like, it sounds uh, way too hard. The bravados want to play. We get them. In They're there. good too. So there's like it's like five on five. I'd say. So or we're just having a great time. This Usually is the locker rooms are serious. This serious. is the funnest the roster has ever had. We got having a blast before a show. Laughing. We're just yeah. having a blast, having a uh-huh. having a basketball party. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gabe uh, comes up to us in the middle of it. He's like, "You guys got to end this." Yeah, can you, can you wrap this up. We're like, we're okay. like "This is literally the last game yeah. we're playing. We're playing for thirty minutes, forty minutes. We're still three hours before even even bell or even maybe uh, two hours before bell. Two, two, yeah, and maybe, half. maybe. So we're this is our last game. We made it clear. We're okay. This is it. Uh, last there's point. only a last few. Shot. But at this point, we're all, we're all blown up. Super no competitive one, though, so nobody's no, scoring. Yeah, like, yeah. The defense is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. We're getting into it, you know, so no one could score. And there's literally, what, two points left? To, yeah. <laughs> this to is win. the most insane thing. Gabe keeps saying, like, is it over yet? We're, this, it's almost it's over. It's We're still last play. We swear. Finally, like, almost like it's at the buzzer. Like, Nick crosses some guy over. Yeah. I don't remember boom, who. Boom, boom. Shoots it up. The ball goes through the hoop. Yeah. And as soon as the ball goes through, you hear Gabe go, enough of this! Grabs the basketball, <laughs> throws it. Bobby Knight Gabe, style. Bobby Gabe, Knight. By the way, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Gabe, by the way, is uh, he's known for his tantrums dude, when he gets mad. But dude, it was so crazy because as soon as the ball went through the hoop, it was like it was like he was yelling at the buzzer. Yeah. At the buzzer, but instead of that, it was like that's enough. And I was like, so I thought he was like we're watching the game. I was like, oh, he timed that perfect. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, we're done now. Dude. I thought it was a rip though. He grabbed we all thought it, was and then he started cutting a promo on all of everybody us. in front of everybody. Too. All like, of us. Yeah, all the boys are showing up, screaming, so, yelling. I don't pay you guys to play basketball. I pay you guys to wrestle. Fair enough. Fair, fair enough. enough. Still, fair enough. Fair, no, it's the way you fair said enough, it. Right? But we're we're two to three hours before even the show. Okay. And we're and already I, all this stuff has happened. We're already kind of like you know, know yeah. like, and no one's saying it's anything. Good ahead. Like, so I'm like, all right, well, it's time for Indy Taker to to step in then. Yeah. And defend the boys. But he I'm was like, the fourth, yeah. He, was he now he's like, oh, yeah. well, he rose to the in, he's in labor right now. I was, I was six feet under at that point, and now I'm free. I grab my hand goes through the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, Gabe. Yeah. Hold on. You are screaming at me, him, all of these guys. We're here three hours before the show, Gabe. I was like, your champ's not even here yet. There's some guys not even here yet. You're screaming at us. One well, game's argument is I feel disrespected. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So he had his argument. I was like, this was the last game. We told you he's all no, it wasn't. Dude, I told you a half hour ago. I don't know. Well, we we swear to you, it was our last game. But he's he's still screaming. Back and forth, hot. So now I'm getting hot. They're each other's faces at this point. And I'm like, you know what? You're disrespecting me. This is starting to piss me off. Actually, yeah. I was I'm here three hours before the show. Four days ago, I was at the Tokyo Dome in front of 40,000 people. That's a shoot line. And I was at the show two hours before the show, and no one gave me crap because that was call time. I'm here three hours before the show, and there's 100 people here. I feel disrespected. Yeah, and Nick's like, we're already cutting you a deal. Yeah. We're doing this. And then Gabe's like, you know what? You guys are cutting me a deal. And he started kind of calm down a little bit more. They but it, it got, there's a Back. lot more that I said yeah. that I won't throw in. That's fine. But we were, we were both... Yelling at Bickering. each other. I get in the, the middle, middle. Of it. and I said, "Guys, let's just chill out. Like we have a wrestling show to do. This is fake. Whatever." Really. I was more of the cool calm. <laughs> this guy's going. But down. his his point was, I want you guys to cut a promo. Matt Saul, we could cut a promo. Like, we'll, we'll do it, it right now. Like, we'll do it one take. What he wants to say. He's like, "Well, I don't know." And then we went and cut it. I and we cut it, and it took like, one minute. So like after he realized, like he kind of flipped out for no reason. He went around. Nick even asked him, "Dude, I think you have to apologize." Yeah. To that, it was and he was right. cool, and he, he went did. around. Yeah, he did. Around. And, and he, he said, said sorry to everyone. Now. He's been overly passionate many times. But, I've yeah, seen yeah. him. So the thing is, no, but I don't think anybody's ever called him on That's what I was yeah. going to say. Nobody at that point had stood up to him. And I think it was humbling for him. And because he realized. Did like, the taker turn the lights off? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but like, and then we even talked after, and he, and he said, you know, I'm just so sorry. He's like, do you think Nick's still mad? He's fine now. But he's very passionate. He's a very passionate person. He loves wrestling. And so are we. Yeah. So those two egos so when I feel when with, I feel disrespected yeah. by anyone in the wrestling business, I feel like we've been disrespected by so many people. And that's the for thing. The list of, uh, that's the thing. Man. Shows. That's and all that. that. And, and all, you know what? I told Gabe that I said, dude, Jim it's not just you, man. It's Jim Cornette. Yeah. It's Vince Russo. It's Eric Bischoff. It's all these guys that have been talking down to us, yeah. telling us we screwed up, we did this. And I said, you're just kind of at the wrong place at the wrong yeah. wrong, wrong time. Yeah. But, it, but at the same time, you know, he blew up like worse than any of those guys ever did. Yeah, 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 for sure. But uh, I told him. Dude, this has been building up, man. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, Nick's, Nick's been ready and for And at that point, we're like, you know what? <laughs> Nick's been waiting to pull this <laughs> You know what? You know what I mean? We've been cutting a deal for so long. We right. need a raise now. And we were already bickering yeah. to each other, too. Like, we uh, better make enough. nothing. And we you know, that, that, week, well that weekend, it was our one year with Dragon Gate. So, like, naturally, I think they're going to We were for already going to ask for a raise. But right. we thought we were giving them the way of, hey, I can we get an increase? Because usually after a year with a bigger promotion, well, you say, do, the buck, yeah, right. but it didn't happen. So, and after that happened, we're it was, like, right, we literally landed and more. Nick's like, it's you know, for more. We're gonna, we were going to ask for more anyway, but now this is the perfect time. And you, you know so what? We're, yes, we're, we're killing ourselves for these shows. We're, we're bumping like crazy. We're, we're, the style's obviously different. It's more, you have to do you know more. What? We were obviously, He's, uh, 
at that point we were with New Japan because yeah, what, yeah, Tokyo. Ke Kevin's yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. obviously. As I because I remember I have the the shirt on. I remember we were gonna we were gonna do the WrestleMania weekend for them, but then New Japan pulled us yeah, off. Yeah. Right, right, okay. But it, it was it was all built up. Now we're fine. We're cool with Gabe, but we wanted more money, and that's why we don't wrestle there. Uh, I mean, and I'm still even. I mean, we're, we're never, never seen never. No, I mean, yeah, he, you there. know, Gabe was nice enough when I broke my hand. He was a promoter. He didn't want anything out of me. He just said, "How's your hand? Are you okay?" No, yeah, that, that meant a lot to me because, like, usually only promoters email you and they're like, "What can I get from you?" I'm talking about my kids with them. Yeah, so you, he's got a kid. Yeah, it's not just a promoter, it's right? He'll call me a hundred, a hundred daughter. Yeah, that's cool. I respect. We had our beefs, but we're all good now. Everybody has their beefs with Gabe, though, and it, you know what I mean. Everybody's got a yeah. Or promoters in general. I want, I want Dragon Gate USA to, or whatever. Yeah, I think it's evolved. Evolved. I, think I want it I to succeed because it's, yeah. uh, it's more work for the boys. Yes. Like, I, and who knows? Maybe we might need to work there. I, I would love to. I, I'm rooting for everybody, man. Yeah, you have to in wrestling. It's just I think the only problems is the there's. There's too much storyline, so let's just focus on wrestling. That's the only advice I can yeah, as his, a wrestler. That's his opinion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, around that same time, back uh, we're back a year ago now again, or a year and a half ago, whatever it was. You guys were were you still doing Chikara at that point? You were. Right? Man, I don't know. Chikara might have been. Was it closed? We, no, it? we worked the show before it closed. Yeah. And it, it was all Kay Fizzle. Uh, <laughs> um, it was in uh, Chicago. June or uh, right? I don't yeah. know. May maybe I couldn't even tell you, but we had we there's rumors, but backstage no one knew. <laughs> uh, we heard it was gonna happen. We were like, yeah, I don't know. And that was this last, the second to last show. Yeah, we, yeah. we did a tag tournament. We wrestled we four day, four times in one day. Really? But Quack's awesome. He he he. I think he double or triple paid us. Yeah, he took care of us. He, he takes so care exhausting. of us. Yeah, he took. He's always taking care of us. I love Quack. Well, that's it's not the six man tag. That, that was it was like a no, it was like a tag tournament. It was a tag. There's two shows World in the Grand day. Prix. We did the it was a, afternoon show, yeah. one match, yeah. and then later at night we did three matches. We always have respect Taxi. to Quack though, because Quack's the I think one of the first promoters that flew us out. He's one of the first people that ever saw anything in us. Yeah. It was like it's Dragon. It was Mike. Yeah. Those are, we're, we're, those are our guys, I think. But yeah, we we haven't worked there since. We've talked, but the, they wanted to get our, date, trios. our dates haven't aligned. Yeah, you guys are pretty busy now. Yeah. So how did that? Well, you guys were back. No, actually, I'm wrong. You guys weren't back in Ring of Honor yet. But uh, then New Japan. We were trying to get to Ring of Honor. Uh, they were trying to book us, but Gabe. It was weird. Our the schedules were weird. It was weird. weird. Yeah. yeah. It was weird. The schedules were weird too. And then New Japan contacted you guys. Yeah. yeah. It was Shortly pretty quick though, right? But they, but they contacted us in the yeah, summertime. And then we did the our first tour was October to November. It was crazy as uh, we had, we heard rumors that we we're because we were in that tournament, a tag tournament yeah. for the juniors. We heard rumors that we were going to win, but no one told us anything about that. Uh, we had no clue, uh, and little did we know we would end up winning. And then the uh, two days later, we were at, at a pay per view for the tag belts. We didn't know we, we, didn't were, know we were winning. Yeah, I remember you guys told me yeah. you thought we were going to win. Then we found out. I remember no, even though, to go before all that, before we even got to Japan, I remember Machine Gun texted us and he said, You guys are joining Bullet Club. And we were like, Of course we are. Like, how could we? You it know what I mean? Because like, yeah, we were, at that point, we had started, like, we, talking, we started kind of going crazier in our matches yeah, yeah. and being silly. Mm -hmm. And, and they were doing the same stuff, so we were like, It's a natural fit. Yeah. Like, this is perfect. And then I remember we walked out the first time at the Corkin with those guys, and I was just like, "This is yeah, this is crazy. This is it." Yeah, this I, is me perfect. and Matt felt like it, it was our first like first time a major company actually Get saw something behind else. us, and they wanted to the, right away. Like, they wanted to push us like that. We knew the first day, like uh, Gato pulled us aside, and he's just like, "He's like, you guys are up tonight with this or whatever you want to do," and he's like, and he kind of like laid out the plans. He didn't tell us we were winning and stuff. But we talked to Trent and like Spanky after, and they're like, "Oh, they have big plans for you guys. Yeah. They never do that with like Gaijin or whatever on their first day." So yeah. we were like, "Oh, cool!" And then they're putting this bullet club, obviously. So that was obviously going to be something big for us. Yeah. Like that, so, but yeah, the, you know what happened before that was Mount Rushmore, though. Yeah, yeah. That was a bowl, though. Yeah. You want to talk about yeah. how it came about? Yeah. Which was basically just us. The day of the show. Dragon, what we didn't know is because he was against it. Dragon was against well, it. Well, we, we wanted, wanted to, do to do something big. Because you guys what? you guys teamed with Adam the night before. That we are the champions. And I was doing commentary and I died. I was like, man, this is the best. <laughs> I want to be with them. Yeah. <laughs> so then the next day, I just begged Dragon yeah. just let me turn and join them. He's like, no. Why would you do that? You feuded with That got a huge reaction, though. It was so cool. One of my favorite moments. 
it was one of the most, that started one of the most fun periods ever. For, yeah. for me, anyway. Yeah. For sure. No, no, no. Every PWG know. show was such a blast. Yeah. And it was going to be so crazy. If man, we, I we, if the everything only, we had done. Only regret we didn't get a, a, an eight man tag in. That's the I know, that's the worst yeah. part. We we're going to do a big Guerrilla Warfare eight man tag, yeah. and Super Dragon was going to come back. Uh, and we had such good plans for that. Oh, it's just too bad nothing panned out. It just it was it timing of the shows and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it was the timing of the all that. Yeah, uh, Drake got signed, so that New kind Japan, of, you guys yeah, weren't at the show. We missed New a few Japan, shows. And then what yeah. happened with me and all this stuff, and Adam just not being as good as him. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right, though. The, uh, yeah, me and Matt love the trios matches we've had with you. Just that was fun. the best. Just fun. When I got that gear done, it was a crowning moment oh, of my man. career. The, the moment I came out of your guys' gear, just. Was so but some, some people don't realize this, Kev. I'm going to tell these people. This guy stresses us out so much. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This guy wants to commentate every single match. And he does not want to help. Help with what are you doing? He's so tired. He's so tired. He'll even tell us. He's tired. Hey, you guys got the match. Plug me in. I he just gone. disappears. I go to commentary for an hour. It's so stressful. Because He's like, listen, if it's not intermission, I don't want to talk about the match. We've had ev but every single match. We've I, know. Had right. I know. I know. What are you it's so about? stressful. You know. You guys that last this. one, though, man, it was like literally we were up and we didn't have a finish. Oh, it was great. No, we're not. That was our favorite one. Our music was hitting. And we were like, we gotta ask. I was like, Trevor Lee, can you do a moonsault while super kick you out of midair? He's like, oh, I've never really done one. Well, just do it. And it did it. Come on, every stressful. single six man tag we've had was amazing. Oh, a blast. Yeah. I remember a blast. the one we did at Beyond right. Wrestling, as you guys were calling it. I walked to the yeah, store. Yeah, you stressed me out. Yeah. But I know, you always. But the thing right. is, at, at least once that, a day when we call, I just go, come on. Yeah, you were. We got it, we got it. No, we don't. You know what? It's stressful before, yeah. but literally when we go, oh, that's it's, why. That's feel, when it's like, I know, okay, it doesn't we matter what we'll do. We got it. We'll just yeah. have some I think fun the match can totally, we can forget everything, and we're just so naturally funny together, and our yeah. kids together, it'd be fine. You're right. No, my favorite part of our thing was was when you would do the crotch shot on the ground. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> and I, had, so I had to get the ring on. They can't do this without me. <laughs> yeah. I think that's when we did that. But, uh, I'm going to miss those. Me too. Because that's something you can't teach. Like That's what I miss most from indie right. wrestling is yeah. our six-man yeah. tag. Yeah. So we can't just, it, how do you develop that? It's it's, it's ten years of a relation, a friendship. No, you're right. You can't just get in the ring with a guy and be like, oh, and like, you know what? Like, you just well, I remember comes together before like Mount Rushmore, we did something with you. and We, we did were like, two six-man tag. Oh, we Chikara. did a six-man tag at Chicago. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I think we yeah. did another one. At two CW. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and we we knew. Is right that where we made the more bang? That's where we made the more bang for your fuck. I can't even say it. I can say it. We had more bang for your. But right away we could tell. Man, we got good chemistry together. That was a good one. Oh, we're wrestling Akuma in the three point oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were. They were stressed out. Three point oh. That was another one. We were on the block. Shane Matthews gets so nervous before matches. Like. He's got these wild yeah, eyes yeah. and his curly hair full size. Like, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I just, I just wrestled him not long ago in a single. He's, I got there like 30 yeah, minutes before match. Right. That was last. What, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? That was a long way. Don't worry, it'll be all right. Man. What are you talking about? Like, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm like, just you know, fake fight me. I have to me. say the the most stressful matches, the most stri uh, stressful tag matches me and Matt have ever had was with. This guy and El Generico. Oh, because yeah. then it's two of you guys doing it. <laughs> that was Generico's in his silver underwear. But just the, like, that's that Generico. But they turned out great. Yeah, every time. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. But that's why I think the match, I don't know. It was It was never the match that no, it was wasn't. stressful. Right. It was yeah. just Generico and I was arguing. It was great. I remember the first time we worked you guys, it was the six man at PWG. It was me, Nick, and Pac. Yeah. Pac got sick and threw it yeah. in the ring. Versus you. Or I'm sorry, El Generico and uh, Susumu, yeah. and you and you in Generico fought the entire time. I don't remember that. And, and we just that we know you. Met us, I think. It was no, kind of the first, first time we officially, officially met. Well, and here's the thing: I don't yeah, remember yeah. fighting. I don't remember fighting with him because I probably would do it all the time. Yeah. So to me, a lot of people tell me that, and I'm like, 
I don't remember that. Oh yeah. man, dude, the whole time Nick and I were like, these guys were like, like boyfriend and girlfriend. They hate each yeah, other. We were, we were an all married couple. That's yeah. what everybody would say. And you naturally loved us because like generic and us were really close. And you were gone from PMG for yeah. yeah back 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 back. Back. So like you came up to us like, hey, what's up, young bucks? We're like, whoa, we're like best friends with this guy. I, I don't think good. that's was. I think that I would still follow PWG, and yeah. I'm you guys. I would like your matches. Right. So naturally so like us. Yeah. Yeah. You were gone for a little bit. Couple years. Yeah. My son was born, and uh, then I did a couple more shows, and then I told, because Ring of Honor and, and oh, PBG, right, and I yeah. had a day job, it was too much. Uh, so I had to for, I was forced to choose Ring of Honor because of yeah. you know, the sheer amount of shows, it was yeah, more money. Right. Yeah. So I, I was trying to figure that out the other day, how long I was gone. It was at least quite a bit. I think it was our first Yeah, yeah, but I would come back for one show here and there, but I think yeah. at one point there was at least a full year. It was definitely our beginning run. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, we didn't... Because uh, I, I, I don't think we officially met before... Except for that time we did Gary App show and he bullied me. Yeah. So you claim. <laughs> <laughs> I have no recollection. We might have of talked about that on the last. Yeah, we did. We did. We did. We did. I have and no then you blocked me on AAM. And we just found out about this. That is not you told you forget about this was like six months ago. You're like, dude, I was for some reason I was on AAM and I was looking at your old. Screen. That wasn't six months ago. Maybe longer. <laughs> no, it was before you had a kid. No way. Yes, I was at my day job at that time and you really? were about to have a kid. And we were texting, yeah, and you were, we were texting, I was like, I was on IRL. You're right, you're and right. And then right, when you're you're right, came, right. You, you, we kept saying it, he's like, I'm there, you can't see me. And then yeah. I realized I had blocked you. Why'd you block me? Here's for what it's worth, I had blocked a bunch of people I never talked to, because if I, I knew I would never talk to them, because for some, back then on AIM, there was, I had a lot of people on my list, but very few I would talk to. So whenever they would get on, it would suck, like tell me they're on or oh, whatever, okay. and I never talked, so I just blocked a whole bunch of people. I thought I might. I don't think like, I did. No, no, no. I thought I may have IM'd you one day and be like, "Hey, Kevin, see, can I have a little bit you of advice?" Never IM. No. <laughs> okay, okay. I think you. We ended up having a real uh, conversation that day. Remember? Yeah, we about did. About kids and everything. We did. And that's when we became best friends. Yes. That was longer than six months ago, obviously. Then. But I was talking to. Uh, <laughs> How old's your kid? <laughs> Two and a half. I was talking it was to three years ago. I was talking yeah. to Cabana and Cabana's like, don't don't think I forgot when you sent me a MySpace message. Did and you? you told me to check out your backyard video. I'm like, did I did that? <laughs> I told you that the other day on Boxer. I'm like, did I do that? That's Cold funny. gets that, eh? A yeah. lot of people message Cold with insane That's messages. Funny, yeah. One of my okay, a guy I know, his name's Lucky. He's from Quebec or Montreal. Mm -hmm. He's a really nice guy. He just wants to get better. But, uh, you know, he's asked me to watch some of his matches before, and he's done seminars with me and stuff like that, and he's nice, but I, I don't have time to watch the matches, unfortunately, right. as much as I wish I could help him. So I guess because I wasn't watching him, he decided to try to go with Colt, because he hadn't met Colt before. But, so uh, he emailed Colt a really long email. Oh, that's absolutely Colt, Colt forwarded it to me just because he didn't read it. Of course. He was like, it's too long, I can't read it. <laughs> but look what he sent me. So I was like, wow. And I didn't read it either, but it was really long. But yeah. it was all about improving and, you know, getting help and stuff like that. So, uh, Cole didn't answer him, because it's just, it's too long, I yeah. can't read it. Yeah. Then Lucky sent them a video, but not a match. It's a video of himself talking to Cole. And the video says, here, because I know you don't like to read. And it's him talking for 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, way too long. And again, Cole's like, look what he just sent me. Oh. I'm like, oh man, that's, yeah, wow. I don't know about that one. So, if lucky, wow. I'm, I wouldn't even be surprised if he ended up watching this, but I wouldn't expect an answer from Colt anytime soon. We're gonna get 10 minutes. You might want to, if you send him three lines, he might, you know. Send might. me one, man, and, and if it's a vine, then I'll watch it. <laughs> Six seconds. This guy's all over vine lately. I love, I used to love Vine. I, I kind of stopped it's now. Hard, yeah. But uh, you know why I stopped is because I realized Vine made me not care about any other videos. Even if they're a minute long, yeah, it's too right. long now. Right, the right. six seconds you're is. Right. What? Yeah. Seven seconds? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's the same way Twitter just destroyed reading blogs, reading anything yeah. longer. Yeah. Like 100 it's whatever true. characters it is. Tum Tum Tumblr. Humans are Tumblr. so stupid. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it has <laughs> to fit in one tweet. Up. It has to. Like, I won't read it longer than that. That's terrible. So you guys have had some sweet tweets. Yeah. Time. yeah I've been, you, hot. I've been of, on a hot streak. One of his best ones recently was uh, <laughs> when you said just came, it was after PWG show. Yeah. I remember reading it as I was going to the airport. So it just came home, threw a hundred dollar bill on the ground and yelled, I'm world famous. <laughs> and that's Woke up my whole house. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was like that adrenaline I was running off of a great night at the you table. You didn't do that when you walked in the house. I did, but I didn't wake up the whole family. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, you didn't. You didn't throw money on the ground. All right. You did? <laughs> of course I did. What a weirdo. See, a lot of the stuff, see, but I will admit, sometimes I'm tweeting something and I am exaggerating. Of course. Of course. Of course. Or it's outright lying. 
It's a, yeah. I saw a but, great vine. Of course. Uh-huh. It was uh, it was the vine you're looking at your phone. Yeah. And you look at something, and you go, hmm. and then you type L M A O. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the truth. There, there it is. That's you know, in a nutshell. I don't think that's everybody in the world. Of course, our Twitter is literally just character. Yeah, it's it's character. It, it almost it, it's, it's not. Let's it's, talk it's, about what is this, what's what it has spawned. Yeah. It's which is how can I the voice? most terrible. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> you guys doing that? Oh, has spawned oh, the most yeah, yeah. awful. Uh, Terrible wrestler Twitters of all time. Yeah. Let me name them. Michael Elgin. Michael Bennett. JT Dunn. David Starr. Those are the four four (laughs) that have come to my mind right now. All nice guys. But go. Fuck yourselves on your Twitter accounts. Over as fuck. Or, you know, Mr. WrestleMania Weekend. Get get out of here. It's only funny when they do it. <laughs> if you do it, it looks awful. I think it was funny how we we're, talked about this. It's okay that we do it. Like, it's acceptable. Because you guys it. started doing it. I you guys, because it became, a, it, it started, I talked about this with Generico yeah. just a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Because we were talking about how crazy you guys have been. Yeah. But he was saying, like, you know, it's like a parody of, yeah. you know, That's those exactly people like, oh, hey, come on, brother, and stuff like that. We're doing it tongue in cheek. Like. But then you guys, but then, oh my god, now everybody's doing yeah. it. It's the door, ricochet. Sucks too. Great wrestler. <laughs> Maybe one of the best in the world. Terrible Twitter. See, we, we as good as you are in the ring, your Twitter's awful. Just, I sent them, uh, I, I, I stopped following them yeah. uh, months ago on yeah. Twitter, uh-huh. uh, which means he can't DM me, but he uh, still followed me, so I'm sure he doesn't anymore. But I can d- DM him, so when he won the Super Juniors, yeah. which is amazing and yeah. huge accomplishment, yeah, of course. I sent him a DM. I said, hey man, congratulations on the Super Juniors, it's awesome. By the way, you can't answer me because I don't follow you anymore because your Twitter is unbearable. <laughs> that's so, a compliment. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I, I heard that story the other day. You know, Someone was, told me that story. Probably, yeah. What? No, no, it wasn't Kevin. Uh, Someone out like last weekend in, in uh, Rhode Island, I think, told us that exact story. That I did that? Yeah. Good. It's oh, it's Chuck Taylor. But that's what because I, I immediately texted Chuck Taylor. Look what, what I just did. It's it's like, what? What? You know, it's it's literally for uh, our Twitters are to push our merchandise yes. and. Make our gimmick look more. But in a way, see, in a way, all those guys are trying to do the same because, like I said, they're really nice. Yeah. But they don't do it right. They, they, when they do it, it's incredibly annoying. Well, and I think it fits. I, I, I I used to follow those juicy product guys. I couldn't do it. It made me. It makes me like them less. So I'd rather not see it. Michael Bennett. Mike Bennett, one of the nicest human beings. I can't take him arguing with fans about wrestling. Yeah, I've I told you this point. too. Uh, but you might like ours, but there might I, be big people that hate us. Oh, I'm sure they hate us. Like the sure. legends in wrestling hate us. Yeah, like that's, that's, that's different. They're not. Part, they're not the crew. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. those guys are. You know, they don't know us. If they knew you guys, and they would. We have a lot of them that follow us. I wonder, a lot of them. Yeah. I wonder, so I wonder, I'm always thinking. Man, I saw Jim Duggan just followed me. Hey, me too. I'm oh. thinking. I'm thinking. Oh. Oh. I'm like, I don't even know what his thing is. <laughs> like when I put up that tweet about yeah, yell at world famous man. What does Xbox think about that? What does Jake Snake <laughs> think about me talking Xbox, about? Xbox, I'm sure totally. Yeah. Kevin Nash probably. followed Matt. Yeah. No Maybe way. Maybe because of such too much. Right? Yeah, Maybe because you guys stole the wolf. Yeah. Hey, Scott Hall still follows me. Too sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sure Xbox gets it. He's no, cool. he's one of the guys that yeah, probably get it. get it. But, but I'm sure there's some people that probably hate our guys. I'm sure even a retweet shows up in some of these guys' timelines. They're like, who are these they guys? Should they should be. Yeah, of course. Right. course. And that's just a character. It's a character. It's, but it's, it's shades of real reality. It. So it's like that's when people. I like keeping them guessing. Like, are they being serious? Yeah. Because then sometimes we're half joking in the locker room. We say similar things, and people are like, but we never, we um, never really blankly say, yeah, we are the best. Online, the volumes turn up times hundred, obviously. It's like yeah, in real life, we're never walking there's around. A, there's a top that, like top that match. Yeah, Ricochet. Ricochet does that. <laughs> Second best match of the night, guys. <laughs> we haven't even been out yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Can kidding? we talk about the time we went to Gathering of the Juggalos? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh yeah, that happened. That happened. You didn't even want to do it. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I, I wasn't gonna do it, but then they told me oh they were doing it. I'm like, I gotta go with hey, you guys. But, isn't that crazy? We let's, did it. But let's talk <laughs> about that. These two white let's, let's, baby faces. Wait, did let's it. talk about the, the <laughs> let's talk about the finish of Twitter talk, and then we'll go to that. Because this is a whole part. Yeah. Like this is gonna be a half hour story. <laughs> so yeah, or there's a thing also about Elgin. Again, really nice. He works hard. He always tries to have the best matches. What are you doing? 
going around saying you're Mr. WrestleMania weekend <laughs> and asking who am I going to steal the show with next weekend and then Ricochet this, this year. <laughs> Me and Gargano talked about this. Me and Elgin wrestled, really good match. Ricochet and Gargano wrestled for Evolve, really good match. People are saying that was match of the weekend. Other people are saying match of the weekend. I don't care. My match of the weekend was when Claudio tossed Big Show over the top rope. That's the match of the weekend for me. Elgin, that week, uh, that, a couple days later, I see this. Elgin and Ricochet arguing oh, each I other that. Yeah, about I who had the that. best match. Yeah. Elgin yeah. starts a, I'm rest the WrestleMania yeah. weekend. Who am I going to steal the show with next weekend? Yeah. Ricochet's like, sorry, buddy, but me and Gargano had the best yeah, match. Right. Oh, yeah? Yes. And then, like, it's then they turn it into this thing, like, maybe yeah. next WrestleMania yeah. weekend we face each other. But, hey, Kev, what does that even mean? Truth, truth is... Me and Matt weren't in uh, New Orleans. There's no competition. <laughs> for I'm just kidding. No, it's fine. I'm but, just joking. Oh, man. Anyway. I'm just joking. But how, like, see, this is the part, though. They're not joking. Yeah, that's the right. thing. They, in their head, think this is true. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mike walks around thinking, I have the best match of the weekend. And that, I don't know. He, yeah. I guess it's pride in his work. Yeah. I think, that, honestly, the best match of the Ring of Honor weekend that weekend was R.D. Evans versus Silas Young. Yeah. The next day, so yeah. you know, Elgin might hear this now and have crowd. a brain aneurysm. Yeah. But like, wrestling subjective. You gotta listen to the fans. Yeah, yeah. Whoever, exactly. whoever was loudest. Or who told you the best story? Yeah. Yeah. This. Anyway, but but I just find that that's, that's what. As much as I like your Twitters yeah. and your tweets, we it spawned this terror. Yes, yeah. yeah, you have. It's all an opinion, though. You know, like, and you know, like the worst part is I've seen wrestlers, uh, wrestling fans, I should say, because I follow a lot of fans on Twitter that. I've met throughout the years, they're real cool. And I've seen those guys, and they're not dumb wrestling fans, because, you know, there's a few out there that aren't very, you know, yeah. they're not just, I, I don't know how to put it, they're not yeah. smart people. Yeah. Or they don't. But those guys are nice, they're, they're just normal guys that really like wrestling. And I've seen those guys say stuff like, I can't take these wrestlers tweeting about how over they are, and <laughs> right. brother, and making towns. And, but, which and then one started. guy said, one, yeah, but one guy said, like, yeah, if it's not the Bucks, yeah. everybody else needs to stop. Yeah. Because it was your thing. You guys started sure. making the parody. Mm -hmm. And it's like everybody's just hopping on it and yeah. trying to make it. It's but, like, hey, you know, ripping t-shirts off yeah. at other, that was me. Yeah. I started the ripping off. That's true. Not everyone true. does it. That's true. You're wearing one of them, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I mean, I'm sure people have done it before me, but I think I've done no, it are. prominence. You're doing the Cena thing, and a few others I remember. You did Colts. That's a yeah, that's what it started, is I ripped off Colts. Yeah, I remember. And then it just... I know, because they were shipped to my house, and I stole one. I remember. It's one in my closet right now. Nice. Size medium. <laughs> well, I apologize that we created a monster. Yeah. Sorry, we are kind of like, we should take the heat for that actually, because we kind of did start the whole thing. We're just trying, over, we're just trying to have a little bit of fun. Though. I know, yeah. but the other ones aren't. They're just, yeah. they're, I don't know. Alright, let's, let's go to the gathering. Yeah, so. We had to beg you. This was even before we, this was like the week before Mount Rushmore was born. Was it? Yeah, yeah. so. It was August 18 or something like that. I remember those days. had a great memory. That's how I, I. That's how I hold on to time timelines. I would. I in my brain it works by weekend. Yeah. So okay, yeah. that weekend I had those yeah, shows. So yeah. then that week I remember I had that yeah. doctor appointment. Whatever. That's yeah. good. I can't. Do that. But uh, you guys did the whole weekend. But I. I did. One night. One night. You were somewhere else. The day Wait. Before. We had PWG. We had PWG. Then you guys flew to the gathering. We flew to the gathering. I flew right. Right. to. Yeah, you had something else. What did you do? That what day? did I do the day before? I don't remember. You had a hard weekend, PWG, just somewhere. It might have been there. a Quebec City show, or maybe 2CW. I think it was 2CW. It maybe it was 2CW. Because at that, that point, we were trying to get on 2CW shows. Wait, I don't remember. Right, we were talking anyway, about and that. then I got there the Sunday. You guys have been there Saturday. Which we were bummed out, because we are like, oh, we thought Kevin was going to be on the whole weekend to protect us. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. We and were terrified. I get to the hotel, yeah. and you guys are there, and you're... <laughs> It's what noon, and you got. I open the door. Yeah, we. Were First of all, out. I get to the hotel. And I try to check in. Like, uh, you're in a room with uh, a name. I don't remember the name, but I realize the name is the Boogeyman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I am not going the in that room. There's worms so, everywhere. He's a character. Yeah, I'm like, I don't want to go in there. Of course not. Scary. So I found out what your room wa was, and I went to see That's you right, guys. I and I opened the door, and you guys are 
so tired. Dude, it's we like wrestled at four in the morning. Yeah, they <laughs> tell me the whole story. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe this is about to happen. And you're like, there's no cell phone reception over <laughs> there either. So, and that's so I call my wife and I'm like, hey, so you're not gonna hear from me for a while. Yeah. And she was like, why are you going to this place? I'm like, ah, you know, I don't want to leave the bucks alone. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, you know, I'll text you when I get get out of there. She's like, okay, good luck. So we go. It's First of all, we pack up. Paul London was there, which was lovely. Yes, he needed, yes. Yeah, we needed his And advice. then, uh, okay, so we pack up in the van. I remember the van was you guys. Mm-hmm. Boogie me, Man. Oh, yeah. Boogie Man. Right. Yeah. Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley. M Dog. Yes. I believe so. And then uh, a couple juggalos that I, they were yeah. just part of. And then was Greg some, Iron in there too, maybe? I yeah, Greg. What's his name? Yeah. So, so that, what a weird crew. And I remember we drove for what, like an hour and a half yeah. at least, right? Yeah. So we're driving, and I, I remember texting like in a van with all these people. Yeah, like, yeah. What a weird day! <laughs> and we were like, just telling you what to expect. Spanky yeah. was there, of course. Yeah, no, he camped I, out. No, I think oh, yeah, he, he, was, there. he just stayed there overnight. <laughs> uh, Paul is looking <laughs> at the, the juggalo, like the, the 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 you know the the program of the whole weekend, yeah, and we're yeah. looking at it, and yeah. we're just oh my god, hepatitis like late, yeah. whatever. We're like late hepatitis, late hepatitis late. That's yeah, all that stuff. So, uh, and then there was, remember they had like the drug bridge that yeah, drug bridge was close. Close. Someone, someone died. Someone died, died the, uh, the day before. Yeah. We yeah. yeah. And my exactly. wife saw it. She's like, hey, oh, someone man. died where you're going. I'm like, ah, what do you want me to do? I got to yeah. wrestle. I got to do it. I got to wrestle her. I got to provide. So, uh, I gotta wrestle. so we get there. I remember we're driving through the woods. Oh. And then all no, of a sudden, no, no. the cops, remember? There yeah, was right. a cop car and like they're arresting people. Yeah, that's right. And the cops like, this girl needs a ride back in there because we're arresting her friends. Is there a room in there? And there's yeah. just like 10 right. wrestlers. Yeah. And I think Bobby Lashley is like, yeah, send her in. And the cop's like, just go on. We'll find another yeah. way for her. So there's finally, no we drive. I always remember this. As soon as we hit the campground, mm-hmm. the smell yep, the of stench. pure human just shit. Urine. Just, yes. Oh my God. God, it was, a, it was drugs, a strange whatever weekend. marijuana is in the air. I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, whatever drugs. I wouldn't be able to identify of... any drug that you know what I mean. Like, it's like a cloud of it too. Oh, it's it's polluted. Awful. It's a festival of 420. And it, yeah. and it looks like it's like out of a horror movie because there's trash. There's just yeah, stuff yeah. like there's all campgrounds the everywhere. So we get everywhere. we get to where the uh, the ring is. And we get out, and it's the afternoon, and the show starts at midnight. It's so hot. It's We're there. so hot. So there. I remember, remember how we, hot, we hit out of the van and just oh, started the AC. Yeah, we did. Yeah. For hours. It was, too bad. Like, it was too hot. Spanky refused to go to the hotel room because he wanted to tent out. He wanted the full experience. <laughs> uh, they're, oh, they're all walking around with these balloons that were filled yeah. with some sort of weird yeah. hallucinant. Right. Ridiculous. They'd yeah. suck them down. Yeah. Like, Necro had like a beard of them. Yeah, I get the most of everybody. I remember the night before. And I remember he had an insane sunburn because he had yes. been there all week. Yes. He was a lobster. Just he was lobster. this red yeah. everywhere. Dude, I remember the first night, Nick and I, for whatever reason, were like, we gotta, we, we gotta walk around. It was nighttime. There was a concert going on. It was scary. Thousands of people. <laughs> Well, there's probably three or four thousand people out on the field. I was and Nick and I that. just decided, oh, let's just take a walk we were through the field. That. All of a sudden, we just see Necro there, like, <laughs> and, eye, and he's like, yeah. And, the and we're like, like, Necro, what's up? He's all, he's all, and he has this bearded balloons. He's all, oh, hey, what's up, young bucks? He just goes back to, like, like dude, how are you not, like, how is this? I remember I saw Necro, you? and I go, yeah. hey, Necro, how, how you doing? I'm having a great week. <laughs> <laughs> barely, like, yeah. He barely opened his eyes. Then he like snapped his leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, was, yeah. that was bad. He gets the hell that was right bad, now. but there's almost a bit of a funny story, but it was bad. Anyway. What, so, after the leg break? Yeah. I don't know. So for, tell I, us. I'll tell you Teach a bit. Us, let's go, let's go by chronic, <laughs> chronological order here. Yeah. So we get it, we decide to walk around, remember? I was scared to death then too. Oh, yeah. And we're just walking on three of us. There's a see, carnival, remember? We see, carnival. Yeah, we see the rides and yeah. we see like the lake. And the, it's kind of abandoned. It's the worst part is it's in the, yeah, that's it. There's like people left, but it's not that hey, many. you were filming your weekend. Uh, and we did the West yeah. Escapades and we saw a dude with a Kevin's right. t-shirt yeah. walking yeah. to the back. I said, dude, you got to go. He uh, opened it up and he sees Kevin. He's like, like what? Got <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he's, I'm like, how was it? He's like, huh? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> yeah. uh, so, and it's like, it's scary because it's on a giant forest. Yeah, like, yeah. the trees are huge. Yeah, it's intimidating. But it's during the day. I remember you guys were trying to sell your VIP pass. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. we never came never back. Came back. We, sold, we sold them in Japan. Did you? Oh, yeah, we did. Nice. That's right. He never came back with the dude that wanted to buy it. Remember? He's like, yeah, oh, we'll get 100 did. right now. Yeah, yeah. Probably lost his weight. Lost Probably, his weight. Oh, he was wasted, man. Like, he's 
not true. I just... Remember, remember, we were all three of us like, okay, the drug bridge had just reopened. And yeah, like, let's go through the drug bridge. I, like, said, we have so it. Like, we I said no. I yeah, do it. we just said there's just people on each side just talking. They're just completely harmless. They're not even looking at us. Yeah. But we're such pussies. Like, <laughs> go. I remember Nick going, Kevin, are you behind, behind me? <laughs> <laughs> Like we're all like yeah, drunk. We walked that straight, <laughs> like this. Like I was so scared. I'm so scared to get tackled against the locker. What are they gonna do? Like we're like. Yeah. What are they gonna just jab you with a needle? Like yeah. here, take they're it. They're all like, weak and high and sober. The, like, the night before, before, people were shoving us. Remember at the. Oh yeah, we got out of there. That one. Some because they were all kind of messed up at the concert. Before we saw never. Everyone was just doing. It was like a game. Or they get our face, like stick their tongue out. What the heck is this? What are these demons? Like what are you guys doing? I remember, I remember when we were walking back towards the ring, we walked past like one of the little campgrounds, yeah. and there's a guy, two, a couple guys and a girl or whatever, and they looked at us and went, faggots! Oh, oh yeah. remember that? Yeah, we were pissed, man. I, we weren't pissed, I, I was just pissed. like, okay, that's good. Yeah. And we just kept walking. Yeah, we were like, you you were more mad though, because, because me and Matt hear that on a weekly oh, basis. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean? No, no, like, you don't fun. say that in this day and age. Yeah. Yeah. Just come on, man. Yeah. Like, what a yeah. jerk. Was uh, kind of yeah, like, it's off. Yeah, that's that's kind of but funny. I mean, what could you expect from like that kind of people? We had yeah. a few things that week, and I remember. Oh, for sure. It was. It's a long hair. It's fun. Long long. Yeah, of course. It's honestly, course. it's fun to look back. Like, we had a match at four in the morning the first night. The second night was probably to tell. just as late. Yeah. In the middle of the field. Okay, it was midnight by the time the show started. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And that I was in a battle royal with Hurricane oh, and Eugene. Yeah. It's like SmackDown. Uh, Bobby Lashley. Yeah, it was. M Dog. Zach Gowan. That's right, Zach Gowan. Smackdown 2007. Uh, I'm trying to think who was Hurricane and uh, who else? Uh, Hollywood Chuck Hogan, which was one of their characters. Yes. Okay. And uh, I remember I tossed Chuck Hogan over the top rope, and he got hung up by his wrist. I remember that. Through the ropes, it was awful. And uh, I don't know. I just started eliminating guys left and right, even though you know there's no plans made of that. I just, <laughs> I was just tossing dudes yeah. left and right. It was awesome. Uh, you had a good match. I had a blast. It was fun. It was good. I had a blast. I remember we had a blast watching. I took. At one point, I was calling the Bobby Lashley. I, like I told the, I think I had M Dog and Bobby Lashley double whip me, and I'll say I'll duck your double clothesline and double clothesline you guys. M Dog bump Bobby don't move. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and I did. So M Dog bump, and then I just looked up at Bobby and he's staring at me. <laughs> but then he didn't. He's like, "What's next? Yeah. Knock me down." <laughs> like, just do something. What did we do that night? Man? You guys wrestled. Uh, it was a tag, obviously. Uh, who did you wrestle? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. It's terrible. It's like a year ago. I have no idea. It might have been two of their characters. I don't no, know. I'm trying to think. I know Spanky and London wrestled Irish Airborne under. Like, oh, we wrestled their, them the night before. Yeah. Uh, and they killed it. Remember, we were watching. Spanky had the hottest hot tag of all time. It was insane. Kicking out of like Spike Tombstone, yeah. Pod Drivers, yeah. 450s, dives to the floor yeah. at 2 a.m. Yeah. It was crazy. It was the it hottest was, It was a great it. match. I yeah. We couldn't believe it. it Not because they wouldn't have a great match, it's just because it's 2 a.m. It's the yeah. environment. It's 2 a.m. at the Jungle But they're, they're in their environment. That's yeah, I guess that's. Yeah. yeah. Right. We were so out of place and they were yeah. comfortable yeah. having fun. Yeah. Who did you guys wrestle? I'm trying to remember. I'm not sure. I just remember right before the match with Kishu sitting there, and he's all, you guys go kill it out there. <laughs> Thanks for Kishu, this is so bizarre. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kishu's yeah, just yeah. sitting there, and, yeah, he's out there. It was a really bizarre day. I remember at one point when we locked ourselves into the, the, yeah. the van with the yeah. AC going, yeah. I was just looking out the window, and I had a sight of the locker room, <laughs> which was outside. It's a field. Yeah. And like, the cars and the campground. Yeah. And I remember I watched this scene unfold of this guy, he's a juggler. But he had a ring of honor hat. Oh yeah, I was there with you. He was shirtless. Yeah. Yeah. And he walked towards the, the locker room. And I see him coming, I'm like, oh, look at this guy with the ring of honor hat. He's so fucked up. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> He's super skinny, super walking. And then he gets into near the locker room and he starts talking to like some of the wrestlers, but we can't hear him, remember? Yeah. So the windows yeah. are open like what do you think he's saying? <laughs> and I can tell that uh, who was the wrestler? He just this huge black dude, like just giant man, is sitting on the chair and clearly tell him like it's time for you to go. No, oh, to uh, Rex, uh, SoCal guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 to Rex. And he's like, T Rex. And dude's like, and, he's got, <laughs> and finally, dude stands up, and that's when the ring of honor is. 
<laughs> and just starts walking away. And he's walking towards the window. I was just sitting there. And he, I, I thought he was going to hit the van. He's like, he's, he's going to hit the van. He's just, at the last second, just turned and just wandered he's, off. He's so drunk. I remember I was, he was drugged out of his mind. Remember I was saying, film this guy. Film I did. I, I got a little, I got like a second of him. Yeah, I'll go back and watch that now that we've yeah. been talking about. I forgot a lot of this. Like it was an experience though, I don't regret it. I think it. everyone has to do it once. Yeah. And then the drive back seemed to take forever. Oh, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Three hours. When, by the time oh, we got back to the hotel, we, I remember we went to Denny's. Yeah, we were we ate, We left, and then we came back and went straight to Denny's again. Yeah, we did. Yeah. There was a fish that had the, the, the aquarium. Fish man, yeah. the aquarium. This guy's memories. It's great memory. That's funny. But I'm about, bouncing off now. I yeah. Remember the, the waitress uh, asked me if I was the big boss man because yes. you <laughs> yes. 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 That's right. I hear you're a wrestler. I'm like, I guess. Like, yeah, you're the big boss man. I'm like, I don't know how you remember these little details. That's crazy. I don't know. They just come back. It's it's it was only a year ago. Sure. A lot of wrestling time. Uh, how many towns have we made in that year? <laughs> <laughs> Outrageous amount. Yeah, yeah. Where are we at the timeline here? Uh, I guess Not with how we were on Bolo now, okay, we'll and that's when we did Mount Rushmore, and we had to push for it like crazy. Dragon didn't want to do it at all. Man, we got sidetracked for like 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I told you it was going to be a long story. <laughs> the time's running out on this thing. Is it? Kind of. All right. What do we got to get in on uh, before it ends, though? Uh, this is the last show. Thing. Yeah, but I just want the, I want the history of the box. That's yeah. what it's about. Well, so then uh, we did Mount Rushmore, and then... Uh, I remember, we, in, remember the insane promos when we just swore uh, like those were I blast. swore like a sailor. Those were a blast. Yeah. yeah. That was the most fun. I it stepped on so a nail fun. in one of them, I remember. I remember, I remember that too. It was bad. On a chair. Did yeah. That, yeah, on a chair. That day, the next day, I had a huge, like a cut. <laughs> I really? We had the t shirt out like within days. Too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like three days, we had a t shirt over. Killed it. Yeah, we it brought it to the show. We sold a ton of them. Yeah. The shirt was great. We pretty much made the group just so we could do the shirt. I remember I wrestled ACH the show right after Mount Rushmore, and I came out with a. I came. My goal. I came out with the tassels, yeah. and I had your your yeah. gear woman make the tassels because I wanted to look like you guys. Right. Everybody thought for some reason it was a tribute to the Ultimate yeah, Warrior. Yeah, we were still alive. Yeah, we were still alive. I hit a back senton on ACH while he was sitting down. You remember seeing that? Yes. He he killed. Killed. To this day, people think I did that on purpose. Uh, I didn't. It was, just, was, it was bad timing. I thought it was flat. I thought, flat. I thought you, dude, you murdered That could have. Oh, oh, man, that was bad. Hey, did we talk about the whole Mount Rushmore wrestling thing? Like, it was a, it was kind of an inside joke. We're like, yeah, one day we just got to start a group because we're like the Mount Rushmore. Yeah, wrestling. we were joking. It was a t shirt. We weren't sure who the fourth one was. It was a t shirt idea. Uh, you remember ago. when? No, it would have been generic. Yeah, but originally, like, one day, man, all of us. And then Cole just kind of fell into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that, that t-shirt idea was years ago that we... Like we'll put our face on the mountain. I remember that, yeah. yeah. yeah it was, was a rip. Yeah. It was going to be a PWG exclusive. It was going to be PWG's Mount Rushmore. It was going to be the yeah. generic one. Yeah. Yeah. Was it going to be... It was originally yeah. where we were like the kings of PWG or something, something like PWG that. PWG yeah. kings. Yeah. Yeah. But then we are going to do the Mount Rushmore thing. Yeah. But then uh, Dragon didn't want us to be called PWG kings because kings, kings of wrestling. wrestling. Yeah. That's, That's how it all started. I forgot about that. Yeah. That's how that all started. It was a rip. Remember, we almost called each other Matt Rushmore because you said yeah, that. Yeah, it almost happened. happened. The next day, the, the next I show was Matt yeah. Rushmore. I pitched you to Dragon Ball. This should just be Matt Rushmore. I'm like, why would the yeah. guy in the leader? <laughs> After we announced Mount Rushmore, like, the pro came out. Some guy on Twitter was like, you guys should have been called Mount Crushmore. <laughs> I blocked him. That's terrible. <laughs> I blocked him immediately. Like, I still have two Matt Rushmore, Rushmore shirts where my, it's my face. It's your face on all of them. I just wear it around. People just look at me like, I thought you, you, you wanted one print. sign and you, you, you <laughs> I thought you had one signed by us and you were going to sell it or something. Uh, he wanted to print a bunch. I'm like, I'm not paid for a Matt hey, Rushmore When we did the Matt Rushmore show, why would you have to pay for it? <laughs> when we did the Matt Rushmore show, people were asking me because I was wearing it. The, when I was selling, like, do you have any more of those? Like, oh, see, I told you. You could have put it on a Young Bucks page, but that would have yeah, been Yeah, that's true. That's true. But it would have been it's not it's too late. It's way too late. It's not. <laughs> I don't think anybody would buy it at this point. When this comes out, you yeah, gotta get maybe, on. Maybe if maybe. there's an up demand. I have two in my in my uh, closet right now. It's free. Yeah. You just put it up. It it's just just a, yeah. yeah, that's true. Um, what would you say your favorite PWG memory was? There's a lot of them. Huh? There's so many from the, yeah. just the last year. Yeah. Like the six man tags are just. It's like a giant blast. I'll yeah. tell you the first time we ever saw you at a gorilla show was you and <laughs> Dragon at the. Uh, the Gorilla Warfare. That Gorilla Warfare yeah. match. When we were with Kane. That was not a good memory. Really? That was I mean, nuts. it was a brutal match. It was awful. Yeah, it was great. I remember thinking back, I would never do this match. Yeah, and then you did. 
Uh, many, times. Yeah, many times. Many times. <laughs> but we did uh, <laughs> the one we did with Dragon was yeah. crazy. Right. Remember that? I one? remember. Well, yeah. The album was all messed up yeah, after because yeah. he was throwing open. No, no, he got me in the jaw. Was it? He, he, he thought he broke his jaw in the opening. He flinged it so weird and it got me right yeah. in the jaw. I couldn't believe it. We did the entrance and it's like Nick's song. My jaw's broken. It's a fun one. Yeah, that was a good one. I remember watching theirs though. Yeah, and I, me and Matt were so well, intimidated. And we were really dressed like Canyon. Yeah, we may have talked. I was more than yeah, 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 we talked about it. Right, I just more. Let's skip that though. But uh, I don't about. know. I think my favorite PWG memory of all time yeah. has to be when uh, I like. This was before you guys. Yeah. I took. I did the Super Dragon reveal. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. Super Dragon. Which we wanted to revisit later with the Rushmore thing. Yeah, yeah, that was plan. That was a plan. That would have been huge. That would have been gigantic. Let's just say it. I don't know if Dragon's gonna be mad because maybe he kept it in his bad pocket. But at one point, what we were gonna do to build to this big eight man tag was have all the baby faces beat the crap out of us, and I would have just rolled out of the ring, but crawled to the back, put on a Super Dragon suit, came out. Well, the and lights turn off first. The lights turn off, lights turn back on, Super Dragon's back in the ring, but Super Dragon grabs a baby face. Wall, and then takes it off, and it's me. And then the next month, we would have done it again. Same thing. I take off the mask, but this time, or the lights go out. They went to out twice. Two, two, yeah. There would have been two Super Dragons. Yeah. But then, remember, it was going to be Super Dragon was going to help the baby faces, and yeah. then Dragon's like, I think I'm just gonna join you guys instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So he would have just beat up Dragon. The way I saw it was you're gonna the lights go out, Super Dragon's in the ring again, they're like, oh, is this Kevin again? And then you take off the mask, sure enough, it is Kevin. Lights go out again, the real Super Dragon's in the ring gives you the psycho yeah. driver. But then That's he changed his mind, he said, I think I'll just attack Drake and <laughs> Yeah, I'll just imagine, you guys. imagine the crowd's reaction to that. Oh, that's so oh, great. Gosh. I'm sad that we never got to do it. You know what we're doing right now? It's like the, similar to one time Gabe, uh, years ago when he was still running Ring of Honor. I hope Gabe doesn't hate me after this. Uh, Gabe uh, said, I think it was after Ric Flair went back to WWE or something. Mm-hmm. Or I don't know exactly how. But he basically went on a, a Ring of Honor newswire and said that Ring of Honor had been in talks with Kenta Kabashi and Ric Flair because they wanted to bring them in in New York City to do a Ric Flair Kenta Kabashi handshake in the ring. But for reasons beyond our control, it can't happen. Right. <laughs> Why even say that? <laughs> I like, know. I know. It's like if I said, man, I was going to have The Rock and Steve Austin come to dinner at my house, but for some reason, yeah. I, it can't happen. Dude, <laughs> speaking of having dinner, you guys have a lot of sponsored dinners. Go yeah. back. We yeah. had to stop for a second. So go, good to go. Talk about Bullet Club. Yeah, it's Bullet Club. Ah, man. It's, You're a Bullet Club now. It might be the most fun I've ever had in professional wrestling. Like it's for, up there. For, for My heart for, broke a little. No, hey, dude. For it's, a mouth, you already said Yeah, for a major company. You know, I thought I, I, I would never go back to Japan. Uh-huh. But if, I think that's the only way that would, I would have. If they had said, no, but if they had said, if you can't go be in Bullet Club, would, I think I would have made sure. It's like what we do. You would be in Bullet But it's, it's in Japan <laughs> yeah. with other yeah. cool guys like, that are just like us. It's like. The reason I say it's so much fun is because it's like it's PWG in Japan. We do whatever we it's want. Right. It's Mount Rushmore. But tell it's, uh, yeah. I don't know. Tell stories from me. I, you tell me stuff. Yeah. Like we we, do, we have a lot of sponsored dinners. Uh, one story yeah. is pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> I what actually, about when you super? Yeah, I was, I'm about to get to that. Yeah, uh, the sponsored dinners. The they the sponsors get a pretty drunk and they bring a lot of a lot <laughs> of buddy, a lot of their friends, friends, friends to, and fans. to come because they're fans. So one guy in particular was so drunk. So drunk, and the actual sponsor that's paid for the whole dinner was like, "Please tonight, you super kick." Yeah, this because everybody. We, the thing is, a lot of the guys get chopped. Yeah, like machine gun the gallows, they, they chop the guys. They know our gimmicks, the super kicks. Yeah. So okay. this guy already got chopped like crazy. His the whole blistering night. red from oh, gallows. Oh, the God. whole night. <laughs> Listen, we're videoing all that. Well, he's not the night. sponsor though. He's no, the sponsor. He's a friend. 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 Yeah. So wait. He's the sponsor's paying for you guys to eat. Yes. And paying to see yes. his friend. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And it happens yeah. every night. Now. Every night. Now, because of this, because I put it on the internet. Yeah. Now everyone sees it. Everyone so as soon as we go to a sponsored dinner, they, they say, please, super good. You guys have to please. waste them, though. No? Oh, we oh, have to protect sure. our business, man. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> has so, this, has <laughs> this. <laughs> uh, so, so he says, yeah. please, super kick. Matt doesn't want to get involved, but you know me. I, I, I'm like, like, 
<laughs> oh, I saw like a cast on it. The craziest of the two right now. Okay. This one never got footage. Oh my god. I drilled. Just destroyed him. I take his head off. Literally. He No, he's not, not, it's not literally. literally. Is that literally even almost, that even be dead. You know how Japan has those like walls that like are Kind of like I don't. know, How do you explain? Kind of like walls. I know, but they're not kind of like, like paper. Yeah, yeah like yeah, paper yeah. walls. Yeah. He's standing by. You must miss the wall. wall. I super kick him. He goes flying and almost the through the wall. The, everyone had to grab the wall from falling, like that, these hangers, and put it back. <laughs> and he's he's out. He's like he's oh, out. He's oh, 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 So then the sponsor's like, oh, 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 okay, double super kick, double. <laughs> and at that point, <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> I was like, if we do that, we gotta film it. I'm like, man, Nick really broke the ice. I want a piece of this guy. Yes. You know I mean? so, and we gotta get footage of it. You know course, what I mean? Because it, it could go viral. You never know. So. But at the same time, we're looking over at, at Machine Gun, who's <laughs> he's absolutely like, oh lit. Twenty five beers. He's, he's, he's even. But he's like, his, oh eyes, his eyes get really small. He's drunk too. So he's all, hey guys, take it easy on this guy, man. Like, I'm but, like, but I'm like, like hey, he's getting arrested. After he chopped the shit. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, like, we're like, we can knock this guy out. I'm like, gun, gun, we gotta protect the business here. He's all, he's too sweet at us, and we gotta do that too. So we, we, we load it up, like, yeah. we're setting him up like we are in a match. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of tease him a few times. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's scared to death. He's, he's, a, fake he's a, hold on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> please, slowly. He's all, please, slowly, yeah, slowly. Yes. We're all, okay, no problem. And then we just We rocked his world. There was some guy holding him, you can't see in the video, and then I had to hold the guy. I saw that. Yeah. Like, it, was, it, was, it was TKO. Yeah. TKO. So we asked him, we said, okay, <laughs> daishubu, daishubu. He said, maybe choto knockouts. Oh, knockouts. Oh, choto oh, knockouts. Oh, well, yeah. sorry, man. So then after that, uh, Machine Gun was like, barefoot though, weren't you? I had yeah, socks yeah, yeah. on, yeah, but, but still. But still, I tried. Machine Gun's like, dude, you guys, he's like, maybe never again, okay? Yeah, he's like, so this is too dangerous. He's like, what if you guys, like, we got away with it this time, but if you guys murder someone, you're probably going to go to jail. That's probably the But way. now, ever since then, everyone requests it. So you guys do it. We, not every time. We chop now more. We'll chop but, uh, Sometimes we'll throw one. Have we thrown more? I think, I think, I think we have, let's be honest, <laughs> but we haven't filmed it. And we were scared, we were like, we knocked this guy out. Yeah, the so, office is going to find out. So the out. video goes around, of course. Why did you put it on YouTube then? We, I don't care. <laughs> so the video goes around, Gato and Jado see it. Of course the office. And they pop huge. They love it. They, oh, oh, they, they kept loved watching it. it. Oh, but I, was, so. I was scared they were going like, yeah. to hate it. And they were going to fire They loved it. it. They loved it. Like, yeah. Tiger Tori's side, he's just dying. Bro, please, more. Do this he's more. He's all great. <laughs> Good. They man. loved it. So funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's all that googly-eyed mother f I never the guy that. I forgot about that. He's googly yeah, eyed. Yeah, man. Right, yeah. 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 We had uh, we, we had the Bullet Club dying that night. Yeah. Uh, but that's just yeah. It's, it's, it's legit a party every night with those. Tell guys. me about the times you guys uh, finished the show, the promo, and then just oh, man, straight to the car. That happens often. So awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, you guys, when you guys tell me that. Japan cool. is real kayfabe, so it's like it's heels faces. He, Bullet Club has our own hotel sometimes. We have our own bus. So we the heels on bus. Yeah, we'll, we'll often cab it from the hotel to the building, just Bullet Club. Yeah. So like, look at their lane. I saw a picture once. Oh, oh yeah, I think it was on gonna, Carl's Twitter. Uh, yeah, a bus looking at the next cab. Or you're on the next cab. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, oh, we'll get dropped off in front of the building right when the fans are entering, and they'll see us all with our Bullet Club shirts, all of our belts and everything. Everyone's like, whoa. I remember like, uh, Osaka yeah. at pay per view. 8,000 people, we closed the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That? that was the best one. I think it was the first time we did it. Yeah. Anyways, I don't remember what the, the main event was, but the end segment was going to be the whole Bullet Club in the ring. Yeah. And Machine Gun was uh, a skating up promo with at least 50 F bombs. <laughs> at least. <laughs> yeah. We're doing suckets. We're just we're, we're throwing up two suckets, alley you know, Now we're just whatever you can do to pop each other. Like we're just we're openly laughing. I'm videoing. We're taking selfies. We're like this is so <laughs> annoying. Like, There's no fun. way people like you this. did that ring of honor too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, probably. Probably. The whole pay per view ends with us throwing too sweet. Yeah, we we walk out. We walk out. Boo, everyone's booing us. You know, we uh, walk out of the front of the arena. The fans are all leaving now. They yeah, see yeah. us go through. We have our, our everybody's got our belts with our belts on. on. Yeah. Throw it right into a cab, and the fans see us leaving. It's and they're they're hitting the windows. We drive right off to the hotel. Crazy. There's more fans waiting at the lobby. It's it's old school. It's old school. Yeah. It's like uh, we're true heels. Now it's kind of becoming cool to like us though. And I'm kind of a baby face. I do the Sid Vicious too sweet to everybody inside the fist. Everybody's throwing it up. I'm like, a, everyone's like, Matt, what are you doing? It's too fun. Like, I'm too sweet to all the fans. They're wearing Bullet Club shirts now. But at first we we were like real big heels. 
now it's becoming fun and it's almost like the heels there but especially with like nick and i it's like the teenage girls really like us like we go out now and we hear mato nico mato it's like isn't there a crazy one on twitter that oh about nick's size i like nick's player size (laughs) what does that mean i think it means something wrong i think we know what it means My wife sees it and she laughs. She's like, yeah. oh, that's weird. I had a dream. I remember she said I had a dream about Nick's player size, very good size. Yeah, yeah. And Nick retweeted it because he thought it was just like funny. <laughs> I think she's talking about your winger, I think. <laughs> but yeah, like uh, I, we think one day they're gonna. There's a lot of money to be made yeah, on this, as baby have, faces. I think because the girls are already starting to really. Like, I think in PWG we could have a baby face run too. Yeah. You already kind of are a little bit. Yeah, we have. <laughs> we have been for about six months. <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, man, Bullet Club's just been a blast. Those guys are the coolest to hang out with. We literally go out there and we go, how can we make each other laugh? How can we pop each other? And then I, often I get to the back, I'm like, There's, they're going to just tell us we're doing too much. We're taking, <laughs> they're going to tell us to chill out. And never, they always go, oh, good, great stuff, and awesome. They got a, lot, a big future for Bullet Club, so it, yeah. The t-shirt has sold out completely one time and they had a reprint. I'm like, literally zero shirts left. They did an entire new uh, shirt with the camera. Yeah, they just it. sold out. That one just sold out completely. You can't find a single shirt in no. Japan. It's crazy. It's, pretty popular. it's also the hottest shirt they've had in years. I mean, it's one of the most popular shirts yeah. in the US too. Dude, like, it's great. It's like, like uh, me and Matt, we we never get noticed out here. Never. Like, it's, we do, but it's Sometimes. not awesome. It's not awesome. Sometimes. In Japan, it Ultimate. literally happens every single crazy. day. A bullet club. You want some sandwich artist at Subway like threw it up when he's making sandwich a sandwich. Sandwich artist. Yeah. He's a big fan. Big, big, big fan. Big, big fan. He's making our sandwich. That's right. when you know it's free cab rides. Did he too sweet the sandwich? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Free oh, cab yeah. rides. The guy's like, uh, when it's time to like pay up, he's all, oh no. <laughs> bullet club. Yeah. Please, we'll right. stop at these random stops and yeah. they they know it's not so weird. So weird. Yeah, We've right. never really experienced that out it's here. So fun, so, man. Yeah, it's cool. It's uh, it sounds awesome. It's a so, uh, yeah. New Japan has this working relationship with Ring of Honor now. Yeah. What do you guys think of that? Like, it's great. Yeah. I like that. I, I thought their show in New York was, was awesome. Awesome. There was just this atmosphere. Like, that the night. Canada one was great too. They're both. The awesome. New York one was weird. This special. Like I remember, we walked out. Like, this is a crazy experience. We didn't even wrestle Japanese guys. We wrestled the oh, Dragon. No, yeah. but even just the Bullet Club being together and walking oh, okay, through yeah. the curtain and yeah. the people just like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was a they great treated place. all the stuff the Japanese stars like. There's legit stars. They're a big yeah, show, which is great because they are. So I uh, when I was in the room with Nakamura before the match started, people were going crazy. Yeah, yeah. You guys, because I don't chance. follow. I don't follow like. Yeah. And neither did we. At, but I was. At one point, you know. I, I you yeah. know I knew Nakamura as well, obviously, but I didn't. I guess I didn't realize how over. Oh, he's a star. Yeah, he's but a star. Even, it was just the crowd reaction was so cool. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. When did Bull, or when did New Japan really? Get like that because I I don't know yeah. I really don't know it has to be within the last few years because a, I think I remember a Dragon Gate no. kind of always being that internet talk. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. always Dragon Gate. I, I, I remember Noah was. getting a lot of press. For yeah, a Noah has no way to do it. Yeah, but then I don't know. New Japan, New Japan just became yeah. the cool New Japan's by far the biggest one. Now. Absolutely, yeah. it's the it's bigger than WWE in New, in yeah. New Japan. It's way bigger. Yeah. It's crazy. I heard, but I think I heard that it was always really big. It always has, but maybe we're just more aware of it. No, it's always been huge. It's been gigantic. It's always been number one, pretty much. Yeah. Like, well, it was, it was, a, all Japan was first, but they split. Yeah. Then New Japan became. Yeah, they were kind of a WCW, WWE yeah, type yeah. thing. Yeah. But then, from years. since then, it's been the top. Yeah. So. I still think it had a strong internet presence until recently. Do yeah, for the uh, US. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think anybody in New Japan hates you guys? Absolutely. Probably. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't no, know. No. There's no, because no, they're all so respectful. They're all the greatest I, guys. I, I they have to hate us. They're very professional. I, but they the, have to hate us. The locker room. Not us, us, just they hate Bullet Club. Yeah, Jushin yeah, Thunder Liger right. loves us. He's the coolest. Yeah, he's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. Yeah. But I'm awesome. sure there's got to be guys, because like, I, I know when AJ won the title, nobody knew about it. The it's only all, people that knew yeah, about all, it was the Bullet Club. It's all fake. And of course, obviously, the main guys, but like, it was all kayfabe. So when he's in the ring celebrating, we're all in the ring just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got backstage, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> yeah, like, they didn't nobody knew what was happening. happening. And uh, I think they keep him in the dark for that. And I think a lot of the Japanese the guys are just like, who are these guys who's coming yeah, in this I, company? I don't feel that way. I, I, admit, I honestly don't feel I don't either. I don't feel it, but I, I it's it has to be. Right? It's you has assume that, that it is. Yes. But it they don't to. make you feel that way. I'd be Not shocked if there wasn't. Not one of them. But they're all super polite. They're great guys. One of the best groups I've ever worked It's the best before. company we've ever worked for. For sure. By far. Yeah. But uh, on a larger s- scale. No, just in general. I think. Yeah. I mean, I would, well, if, I rank PWG, PWG had that money, and yeah. I rank New Japan as my two favorite yeah, yeah, places yeah. I've ever yeah. For sure. 
It sounds, I mean, it's not, every time you guys go there, as hard as it is to be away from your family, yeah, yeah, it's, it's tough. You, always, you guys always seem like you're having a blast. Yeah, it's the group and it's of guys we're with. Obviously, yeah. worth it financially. Yeah. That's a big part of it. Yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure. It's always nice to go to Japan, but sure, yeah. if you're going for nothing and yeah, you come back with no money, yeah. the experience is great, but right. if you have a family to support like we do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They make it worthwhile. And you, you can make that money. You Like for us, we don't have to go to TNA or WWE. We're, we're, we're there. there. Yeah, and mm-hmm. that's where we're making it. It helps with our hype too. Like, people, like, uh, going to Japan is so underground, it's so cool and hip. People will probably just hear about the buzz. Go, uh, now, going to Japan, I don't think. Maybe not so much. Going much. to New Japan. Yeah, it's New Japan. Japan. You're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Good. You're right. You're I, right. It used right. to be while they're going to Japan. Yeah. And then people started buying their own flights. Right. Right. People, you know what I mean? People started going to small somewhere. companies. Yeah. New Japan's a big thing. Especially being yeah. a part of the Bullet Club, that's like the end thing right Yeah, now. yeah. It's like as soon as we got in there, it was like a whole new chapter in our career almost. Yeah, it's, like, it's helped a lot. It's helped us out. It's helped elevate us. And they, they see our potential, which is awesome. They've booked us strong. They've let us do our thing. They never, we don't have agents breathing down our necks. But they give us times where they're not strict about it. It's like we, we're yeah, like, loose. Yeah, like for instance, it's, loose. Uh, it's like uh, Gorilla. We wrestled Kushida and Alex Shelley uh, oh, live, yeah. live on pay-per-view. We yeah. were given 12 minutes. Yeah. We went 18.30. And we got to the back and they were yeah. like, awesome match. Because yeah. we tore the house down. If that yeah. happened in the States, yeah. we're What's that we got to shoot off by Bischoff and hey. get it over? Yeah. Uh, me and Adam Cole went over by two minutes on the main event of the Ring of Honor. Yeah. I pay-per-view. Yeah. Not the pay-per-view. Yeah. The I pay-per-view where it didn't matter. Right. right? And uh, they didn't do it to me. Because I think they knew that I would tell them, I would probably invite them to suck it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, they yeah. gave yeah. crap to Cole. Uh, yeah. After we had a really good match and we were really happy yeah. with ourselves, we were like, you guys went over my two fucking minutes. Uh, that sucks. And Cole, they did it to Cole because Cole's not going to say nothing. I know, he's yeah, polite. Like but I was so offended by that. But, uh, you know, I understand the point of staying on time. Yeah. But I even told in the afternoon the producer who said, you know, you, we have to end at a certain time because yeah. this is a dry run for the actual paper. Yeah. Room. Said okay, well before our match, if you need us to go a bit short, let us know. Uh, yeah, they had given us thirty-two minutes. Wow. We went twenty-six, or no? He they they said twenty-four to thirty-four minutes. So we had a ten-minute time frame. We uh, went twenty-six. So technically, we went two minutes over of the twenty-four. But yeah, we had us thirty-four. Time to play with, yeah. But they were the two minutes over. They were pissed. That's all they had to say. To, nah. That's all they had to say right. to Adam right. after the match. I was, hate that. You guys went over by two fucking. That's minutes. the last thing I want to hear after I just. When Cole told me, time. I was. Furious. Sure. Furious. Yeah. But uh, I guess after they apologized to him. Yeah. You would have invited them to suck it. I like that. Yeah, we went, That's what I would have done. Imagine that. We Especially went, at this point. We, when went I almost, leaving them. Yeah. we almost went seven minutes over on a new campaign. And we page. tore it up and they were like, awesome match. Of course. Um, that was actually America, ranked. Would have Is that ranked the number one match in yeah, the half year? One What's your favorite year? match that you guys have had? Oh, man. we got I don't know, man. Anything in PWG. We were talking about New Japan. Oh, in Japan. We've had a... I liked our first we tour. I liked the finals of the Forever Blue Games. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. We, and then the last one with, with, with Kushida and Shelly. I know my favorite match you guys had there yeah. was the one where you... A little shout out. Shout out. Oh, I didn't yeah. even see it. Yeah. I remember there was a paper but I stayed up. I stayed up till 3 yeah. in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I was in Baltimore at the hotel. Mm-hmm. And I really wanted to watch it. It might not have been Baltimore. It might yeah. have been Nashville. Yeah. Anyway. I went down to the lobby because I didn't have my iPad. I forgot my iPad and it wouldn't work on my iPhone. Yeah. So I ordered it. Like I paid money for it and I was trying to watch it on the, the computer yeah, of the yeah, lobby. Marvelous. But the stream was awful because yeah. it was the computer, the, the lobby computer. Yeah. So I missed the whole match. All I could hear was like sound until the very end. It came back for two seconds to see you guys. Oh, that's great. What's up, Kevin? I love yeah, that. That's great. And then I went to sleep. I'm glad that you uh, get to. Hear that was that. another one, the Tokyo Dome, just because it was the Tokyo Dome. Yeah. Of course. I like the match. That was mind blowing. I've liked so many of our matches there, but yeah, those probably the finals where we beat forever for the, the yeah. actual tournament. Uh, the There's been a lot of them that I've. Enjoy We've even life. gotten to work like Okada a lot, and Nakamura. Yeah, these house stuff. shows that yeah. we've done has been. I thought you were talking all time. Like, I don't know. Yeah, we were been. talking about how High Spots has to do a Best of Young Bucks DVD for sure. I'm trying to get Dragon. <laughs> Throw it out there. <laughs> I've already talked to Michael about it. He's like, please, let's do it. I'm like, he's like, you just got to get Dragon about it. And Dragon's like, yeah, maybe eventually. But I'm like, I don't even know where to begin with. Well, we need like a 10 disc set. Because every match there is my favorite match. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, but yeah, I don't know if it was career wise. About let's talk. We were talking about PWG matches now, and you were talking about like career making stuff. I think you guys made Candice. Like, yeah. You guys made her because now Candice is extremely over. So yeah. is Joey. Their their act is over. People are booking them. They get, and it's good because they're both talented yeah. people. But 
it's the match with you guys that made everybody notice. Yeah. So the, uh, the most recent one. Well, you guys have wrestled them. Oh, yeah, we had a program. We did a six man tag with it's them. You the guys did like a couple tags. Yeah, we did a few six mans too. Uh, so yeah, what do you think of? Uh, we you know we we, a, we talked to Candice about this the other day. And she's really nice. About she it. she said exactly what you said, and so I you told her. You guys, you I know. said we don't want to take the credit because. Uh, you actually have to go out there and, and do the work. We just know where to plug the stuff in and to help. Like she, I don't know why it's like that with certain people. We're just she clicked with us. Like mm-hmm. we're, we knew where to put her moves, uh, how to tell. The like right she story. deserved a break. It, she's been wrestling. And she's had a us, great she ideas too, though. Too. We can't yeah, yeah. She hasn't too. had a break though. And Joey's always. Joey's had, had a rebirth since. Yeah, like, this has helped him. Yeah, yeah. Fire but like him. even himself. Yeah, he found like. I don't think he looked. He didn't look. He didn't used to look like he even enjoyed wrestling. Yeah. Right. This now he looks right. like he's into it. You know what? It is a rebirth. Right. And, and TNA might have did that because when we. But I thought TNA even before that, TNA. Yeah. Yeah, I think he would always worry about looking sleazy in his whole yeah. thing. But he really, I and I, I really like Joey. But I think I've told him this before. I didn't think he tried in his matches. Really? And then he went to TNA, and I mean, I don't. I didn't follow uh-huh. any of his TNA run. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I know he was unhappy then, and it didn't work out too good, or I mean, maybe he wasn't unhappy, but it just didn't work yeah. out. But then, it, when he came back, and I remember him and Candice teaming was my idea, oh, really? actually. I had told Dragon, you should turn Joey baby, yeah. put him with Candice, and it happened because of the Mount Rushmore yeah. team, because that's how we set it up. Right, oh, they interfered. We had Joey, you guys heard her, Joey came to her rescue. Right. The that's logic the being like, I'm the only one who does that. And tattoo. meanwhile, oh, you're right. Meanwhile, for two years, we're trying to work with Candice. Every yeah, we've been pushing. The Dragon's line. always asking, "Who do you want to work with?" I want to work with Candice. Like, well, who's she going to team? I remember with? you I guys know. missed that. Me and Von Erich, yeah, yeah, or Von Erich, or Von Erich, yeah, 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 for years. Like, just do something, man. We, and we've always had great chemistry with Joey because yeah, uh, yeah. we've been working with him for ten years. So, with them mixed in with it, it's just it was the right recipe. Uh, that first six man we did was Bull, I think, and it just clicked, and we're like, yeah, right. This is the thing. We did a six, and I told dude. Yeah, yeah, with what was me? Cole. And then yeah, it was Fox. Cole. Yeah. yeah. We did that first one, and I remember we got was back. That was I'm like, guys, I don't say this very often, but I think that was like a classic. I was one of my favorite <laughs> yeah, ever. You don't say that very often. <laughs> oh, I tweeted a lot. But uh, I mean, I remember right, right at the I moment. I typed quite a bit. <laughs> But yeah. I don't say it out loud we, too many times. We, we worked Joey. We wrestled and Joey and Candace, yeah. and we tore it up, and I went to Drag and I said, I want to wrestle him in a we Guerrilla Warfare, and I want to drop the title. Again. I told him that yeah. night. And he's like, no, and I told him that. Drag's, that's never happened. And Candace, <laughs> Candace and Joey are like, that's never happening. I'm like, that's my goal. I think I it will happen. happen. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you think? Yeah, yeah. You think it might happen eventually? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but you guys, like, this is the thing, though. They're great, though, yeah. They're great. But I've seen them have matches against other people at PWG, and it wasn't as good. It was good, uh-huh. but it wasn't as good. Yeah. But why do you think that is? Like, uh, I think and we don't. Have a I think me and Cole had a great one against them. Well, there you like, go. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, there you, you go. Know, yeah. I thought that was yeah. We, but then we had to bring the best out of people. I think certain people, especially. Yeah. Like, um, especially them, maybe because they're like we we had the same career length. Basically, yeah. we all got yeah. in together, but like not really. They were in before us. Yeah. But still, it's like we it's have the same, same backgrounds. backgrounds. Yeah. Same yeah. Backgrounds. I don't know. We just clicked with them. Yeah. Same thing with the Smash Brothers. People said the same thing. Oh, they peaked when they were worked with you guys. It's like I don't know. We just had a chemistry with those guys. Yeah, they're, they've know. always been good. But you, my favorite matches of theirs was definitely the ones that you have. And those played. to this day are two of my like favorite matches. The ever. one where they beat you for the belts. Yeah, it was so good. It's one of my favorites ever. Yeah. And then the latter match we had is Nick said that's his favorite match of his career. Yeah, yeah. that was crazy. might be one of my favorites. Uh, I remember those. I don't know. Some some teams just click, and we click with Joey and Candice. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know, it's weird. It's like like how you and Rant really I almost said this shoot name again. You have. You and you and Generico, how you guys work to well. It's like I don't know, just magic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> magic. It is. I'm telling you, because sometimes you get in the ring with someone or and you it's just like, yeah, right. this is weird. This doesn't work. Like I don't know. I remember wrestling you for the first time. I knew we had a Sometimes it, Yeah, that was just like, really quick. Yeah. While he's doing commentating half the show. You know what's a real shame is we didn't get to do that six man tag where it was gonna be me and you guys against Trevor Lee, Cedric, and Andrew Evans. Yeah, yeah. Right. we ended up doing it, but Gargano was there, and Gargano yeah. was great, and we had a really good one. I think maybe my favorite six-man tag we've had. Yeah. But uh, I think it would have been like with Everett, it would have been like special because those three are the North Carolina yeah, dudes. They had, just starting, they had that three yeah. next. That, man, that's my one regret from our not yeah. only not getting an eight-man tag, but not getting to do that actual yeah. match. My as good as it was with Gargano. My regret from that match is getting murdered. Oh my <laughs> god, I saw it. It's so vicious. Dude, head I, first I'm still, against the post. I've still heard from it. Yeah? Yeah. I bet. 
Like my, basically like this area of my skull. And Johnny does not, like Johnny doesn't miss very often. Yeah. But that was spectacular. Dude, I <laughs> like it, it almost killed me, man. It almost yeah, killed me. Yeah, you could have broken your your could've skull yeah. or your neck. It it's funny, me. we got bad luck with that move. Uh, oh, yeah? Chikara, he, he exploded my nose. Yeah, he's just my nose just man. exploded. You know, in a, in a, but in a way though, how else? It's it is very dangerous. Yeah, it is. You're it's a very hurling. reckless. Move. He yeah. hurls you, but it's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> he hurls yeah. you yeah, you're, face you're first flying, you know? towards the buckle. <laughs> very unnatural. In theory, you'll hit the buckle. In theory, you may hit the rope instead, yeah. or the metal or that's the all around it, or the pole that I hit. That How did I even hit the pole? I don't understand. You went right through. So they gotta right show a through. clip of that up uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> they can. They'll, they'll I have a hard time watching it, honestly. It's terrible. I watch it in the, in the you know, the video, and I'm like, how would I survive that? It's it one of the craziest bad. pops I've ever taken. It's bad. Yeah. It I'm nice. still hurting. Not My neck's still messed up from it. I bet. <laughs> so, uh, let's see where we're at now. We're pretty um, much, what, almost at her? We're pretty much, yeah, we're pretty much around the, around the whole thing. Now you're going away, and I'm sad. And I don't yeah. want to end. I know. At least we ended it with a more we bad style. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But uh, what? So what's uh, what's next for you guys? Now? Who knows? New Japan. I don't know. I think uh, everybody's I think reaching out. TNA. We've talked, we've talked to every big company. Right? Yeah, we've talked to the Fed. WWE we talked to you guys. We've talked yes. to TNA. But yeah. we're committed right now to New Japan. And we're just having fun in the Indies. So I, and, yeah, we're are you interested in working with Ring of Honor for Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm interested in working everywhere. We have an open relationship with them now. They uh, eye contact. <laughs> I contact them when we're available, and they yeah, they book us. It's great. Schedule. Schedule. Okay, yeah, you guys are going. And we got four dates. We got no, coming up. Yeah. yeah, coming up. We're open. Well, we just want to make money and have fun, and I don't know. But I, I takes us. I think you'll see us in New Japan for quite a while. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or we'll go to the Gap. Just <laughs> come fold some sweaters. Maybe. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Everybody yeah, seems to get be getting work there at the Gap lately. So. They're hiring. I mean, I hear they are. Open to having people come in. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's uh, I guess that's it. That's I'm gonna sad, take it. I, 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 come on, I'm gonna keep stuff. in touch. Uh, my my phone will malfunction like most of the dudes that go yeah, to, no to the Gap. Don't so. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no worry about it. Just don't change to the Gap. Man. How do you spell yeah. Gap? NXT or no no G A P? I'll start wild rumors. <laughs> so. Uh, I guess that's it, guys. God, it's the last one. Yeah. Well, how are we gonna end this? Maybe, maybe, we, maybe we can end it by calling it the Young Buck Show. And we'll I think a double over. super kick for the sign is the only way this could end. Oh, at the mat. No, the no, mat. no. I can't do that to Kane. Yeah. I have yeah. Fun. I'm okay. very fond of Kane. Really fun is this okay with high spots? Yes. All right. Please don't waste me. Oh, man. Get up and double oh, super kick this thing. I got in the left side. I don't want to break this camera. Maybe we need to work on the air. Put it in a. I don't know, you're gonna bring the chair. Ow! Something's gonna break. Okay, kill it and just hurt. You're gonna hurt. You're gonna get I, it's gonna be bad. Just we throw do it. it. Throw it when we kick it. Alright, All right, I'll throw it at But then we'll kick it at me! And there's a camera! <laughs> okay, let's move this camera. Somebody get the camera. Put it right here. Put it right here. Like that. Yeah, no, that's, that's no good. It's gotta be a real one. All right. I'll just toss it at you guys and run for my life. Alright, let's do it. Aim that way. Wait, move yourself. My iPhone will protect you. Aim this way, Matt. Alright, whatever. Are you ready? Okay. Goodbye, Kevin Steen Show. Uh, just quickly, High Spots, you guys were amazing. Thank you. I'm so glad I got to do Please this. Please give us the show now, High Spots. <laughs> you guys are the first one to request it. We'll Goodbye. Be you ready? Yep. Yeah. Smack noise. Yeah! Oh! Did that hurt you? Almost. Okay, let's That's do it again. That's a bad throw one Take more time. Thank you. It's not I, like you guys don't throw a million I have the sight of it. I saw it. You guys have, yeah, okay. I don't know how I did this throw wrong. Throw it like, like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. There it is. Ah! Nice. That's it, guys. It's a wrap. Goodbye. Can we do it too sweet to end this thing? Too yeah, sweet. sure. Yeah, right. I'm not in the Bullet Club, but I'll right, anyway. drink it. Of course you are. <laughs> Kevin Nash so mad. That's the cover right there, actually. Kevin Nash so mad right now. <laughs> See ya.